Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I am Tank, and this is the R&B Money Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. All things. I'm, yeah, I don't normally sit here. This ain't this ain't my normal seat, but this is not a normal R&B Money Podcast. Today, I'm in the hot seat. R&B Money is out. My last album. That's what this is going to be about. And... To have this special R&B Money episode, I have two special people here with me in the building. Now, let me take a drink while I, while I get to Get your sip. Mm-hmm. Get, yes. <laughs> get your two, sip. Two special people in the house. Um, I like to call my friend, this woman, I just call her a businesswoman. That is it. If it is business, <laughs> she can handle it. She can do it at a level. Please, uh, give some finger snaps out there in the Army Money Podcast world to my family, Miss Diddy, y'all. Miss Thank Diddy, you so y'all. Much. There's a lot of, uh, I would like to curtsy. Okay. And then, um, I mean. Wait, I need my intro right. Ooh, baby, first of coming. all, let me, let me get to it. It's okay. Coming. Okay. First of all, okay. A person, a woman who knew me mm-hmm. when. Mm, mm, mm. I'm talking about danced in my first video. I mean, we caught eyes. Yeah. She saw a player. She said, "I see that." You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Yeah. I, I, I'll say the I'll say the eye contact was mutual. Um, we have been we have been friends for a long time. We have been best friends. Um, we are soulmates, and she is. A businesswoman, but more Thank importantly, you. the mother of my kids and my wife. Woo! Zena Dubs is in the building. Yes. Yeah. Flash it, yeah. flash it. Welcome to the pod, Z. Thanks. I need my champagne. We gotta start. Oh, you right. know what? Let's get this thing started off right. <laughs> Since it's special, ladies love champagne. Okay, everybody yes. watching the RB Money podcast, ladies love champagne. You know, sure they also dabble in tequila. Yeah, you know, but if they start dabbling in that, that that tequila, that just lets you know how that night is finna go. Hallelujah. It's gonna go. Protect it's yourself gonna, at all times. It's gonna go. Um, how y'all doing? How y'all feel to be here? Feeling the good. Money podcast. Oh, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I feel like it's my hot seat because I'm almost in both of <laughs> y'all. Like, okay, so Zena. <laughs> Feeling good. Zena said we're drinking champagne. We're drinking we're the champagne. ladies here. So ladies. I yes, mean, I what a freaking honor. First of all, can I say how inspirational you guys are? I know that word is like thrown around. You know, people use it. It sounds cute and whatever, but it's the truth, man. You know, like to I've been a friend of you guys um, for a long part of you, your journey. And yeah. I'm just Thank happy you. to be here with you guys as husband, as wife, a beautiful family incredible friends to a lot of people good people you know aside from what thank you the world sees on like instagram or you on stage or anything like that you guys are good hearted people and you're good people to a lot of people so i just want to say cheers to that cheers to family cheers to keeping that thing strong amen love y'all Keep Give me a little clinks. Give me a little clink. Keep your eyes because i don't want to know okay hey keep it good for the whole time so, oh, um, I'm not leading this, so I'm going to turn it over to the ladies, and I'm going to sit in this hot seat. And you trying to how hot do you want the seat? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's about my music. Okay, my music career. It spans twenty something years. If <laughs> I we could stay him focused. Flowers today. Yay. Okay, I today's flower day today, for me. Yes, okay, flower day. As you eloquently purchased for me on the on the on the uh, release of R&B yellow Money, flowers, my yellow flowers, the yellow for my yellow suit, suit on the album. Yeah, you're awesome for that. You know, Thank we're all so about much. the details over here. Yes. Yeah, that was a great cover. Why yeah. that cover? What, what what was in that for that cover? What did that feel like for you? Um, great question. Shout out to my brother Rich Fresh, mm-hmm. um, who who completely just doctored up that entire look. Um, shout out to. Um, 
my brother Brian Javar. Yes. Who um, I always look to for the cosign. Yeah. When yeah. it comes to my styling choices and He's of course about the things you. he brings, you know, to the table. Um, I wanted, I wanted R and B money. Of course, as me naming the label R and B money, it means that R and B makes money. Um, it looked like I'm, it. I'm a prime example of R and B making money, mm -hmm. and so for the album to be called R and B Money, I want it to look absolutely like, like money. Sure. I want it to look refined. I want it to look tailored. I want it to look presentable. Um, just on a level I probably hadn't been um, seen before in a long time. You know, yeah. normally it's you know normally it's tits shirt out, out tits shirt out. off. You yeah. know, it's what the saying? peel. He always has the peel. You yeah, know, and I'm a big yeller for that. I'm always for his <laughs> tits being out. It's just the truth. Show us your tits. And, and I'm always asking him. I'm like, when are you gonna stop peeling? Like, is it gonna stop? <laughs> no. And, I, and I'm like, I'm like, whenever when I can't. Because, That's when I'm gonna stop. A lot of people can't. A lot of people can't. Uh, they sure can't. So, I can say that. Cheers to that. So Cheers. I just. Your titties are amazing. Cheer, cheer, okay, cheer. I don't see you know where this talk, talk is going for me. Talk about what you get to touch on. I'm a little champagne. Um, I just think that, you know, that's an aesthetic of R&B that I want, you know, R&B artists to not be afraid of. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I think we've all kind of taken the dope boy fresh rap. Sure. You know what I'm saying? We've all now um, dabbled into... The jewelry and mm -hmm. and and, 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 the black and the leather extra, jacket. you know, we we've dabbled into the. I think Hella. I think the BB Simon belt is back, and oh. you know what I'm saying. And and everybody's got the same gene and the same. You know, mm. we we've all dabbled into that space, but I think that there's um, there's a space where R and B is also very buttoned up. Sure, you know what I'm saying. It's very classy and it's very, very elegant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. And that's the that's the R and B that I grew up on. Sure, you know what I'm saying. Jodeci was you know, a break of the monotony, mm -hmm. you know, a necessary change to add balance to it all. Let's but Boyz II Men was buttoned up. Oof. Maxwell, buttoned up. Yeah, Along with the vocals. You know what I'm saying? A baby face, buttoned up. It sounded like it, it looked like it, it felt like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It landed. It, <laughs> it landed. <laughs> and and I think with the even with the album, I want it to completely land in an R&B space. I wanted you to listen to my album and without a doubt know that we're somewhere in between the 90s and the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Like that's where this album lives. And for the first 10 songs, you know, my 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 take on R&B is it's always a conversation with a woman or about a woman. Mm. And so my them first 10 songs on my album, whatever you need to say mm -hmm. about that woman or to that woman, this is your opportunity to say it. In these first 10 songs. Let me ask you this. What's one of the most important things you had to say to Xena? Hmm? <laughs> Fix your face. R&B. It's about a conversation with a woman. Oh, you know what? You know what? That, Tell her where your inspiration that's, comes that's, from. That's, <laughs> you, this is great. <laughs> this is the world. See, this is a lot. Oh, you two. Boy. Boy. So clean up. Uh, what a team. Um... The most important thing I had to say to Zena, mm -hmm. and don't um, make me cry because I did my makeup today. Okay, I'm all it, right with it, the tears. it wasn't one thing. Sure, it was a whole thing. Mm. Um, the truth. <laughs> oh, you and then go at. Mm. That's good. The truth. Yeah. And so from the truth, you get a song mm. like "Can't Let It Show." You know what I mean? Where, you know. The truth at this point is probably a little too late. Mm. Yeah, the and, truth after. And huh? The truth after. The truth at this point. At this point, point yeah. When, let me get to it. Okay. The truth at this point, not today. I'm saying in yeah. that conversation. At this point, it's probably too late. And so, this same truth that probably would have made her cry a year ago now makes her look at me in disgust. And say, I don't even have, I don't, I don't even, I can't even cry for you. Like, you so stupid. You so out of control. Yeah. You so stupid. Yeah. I can't even cry. And it makes me say, oh my God, you just finished my song. Mm. I should be crying, but I just can't let it show. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I should be crying, but I can't mm-hmm. stop thinking. All the things you should have done, but you all the things you should have said. When a woman is out of that, yeah. you're, in you're in a bad place. place. But back to your question, that was the hardest thing yeah. I've ever had to tell Z yeah. is the truth. The truth. It's not one it's not, it's not one, one thing. thing. It's a whole thing. It's a the whole thing. Whole thing. That's and deep. so, you know, as much of as much as I live it out in my music, I had to live it in in real life. Yeah. And and endure the ramifications, you know, the repercussions that come along with it. Yeah. And unfortunately, fortunately, that's also sacrificial because then comes music with that too. Mm-hmm. That 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 is scary, right? That is scary because it is a constant reminder. Sacrificial. And so mm-hmm. I gotta, you know, while this song is on, while I'm performing, I gotta check on my wife oh, in the audience, like, left. like, like we good? I'm sitting stage side, and I'm like, yes, yes. like, are we good? Damn, we, sounds good. Yeah. We, we still good. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be all right after this. You know, what I just thought about it. I'm sick of it. I'm okay. sick of it. Half. I mean, just come on. I'm done with all of this. <laughs> <laughs> but you get your inspiration for songs mm-hmm. from real life experiences. Sure. Hundred percent. Sure. Yeah. So this is your last album. Yes. So that means we're good now. <laughs> so good. You, you don't have so to. Li- good, you don't have to live that way anymore. So, good. so we're good now. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, Are we done making songs so smooth, about smooth sailing from this point on? I just want to know so we're clear. I I I think that you know from an album process, I'm done making albums. For myself, mm. for sure. Um, but, you know, I'm acting now, doing more acting. That's yeah. where I'm at. Um, doing my stand-up and producing and writing more for other artists, building the label. Um, so from a time standpoint, you know, I'm not done. Like, I like to say that, you know, I'm still in the building. I'm just on a different floor. Would okay. you say that's okay. what you say to your fans? Like, as a fan, right, sitting here, like, in the mini hats that I'm, blessed to wear um, with friends in your spaces. But as a fan that I sit here and hear that, it's kind of, ner- it's, it's hitting a nerve. It's not like, oh, that's, I'm so happy that he <laughs> says he's I'm on his last the, album. I'm probably the only person she in the world. <laughs> yeah, no, she said we're good. I said I'm retired. She said, amen. <laughs> she said, about time. Hey, time. sit your old ass down. <laughs> But you know, you you and you, you're not about to pull Tom you, Brady on me. I'm just okay, gonna say that now. We might say, okay, sorry, we might because you know I'm all things. Business. Well, here's what's crazy. What? <laughs> here's what's crazy. Um, um, we're at we're at um the Usher show. Sure. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, but by, by the way, if you haven't been to Usher's residency, that oh, was great. Yeah. If you are a true R and B fan, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you make the voyage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How how Worth how it. the religious people make make their voyage to Mecca the pilgrimage yes, yes. you make the voyage to Vegas to see Usher and see R and B music on a hell of a stage yeah continuing at the Usher show and Anita Baker's there <sighs> Tevin Campbell's there shout out to Tevin mm. Campbell Love shout Tevin out to Campbell. Tevin Campbell Love yeah Tevin. we definitely yeah. want a good night um, amazing night. Yeah. Anita Baker's there. And and Anita sees me um and and she says, "Oh my god. Come here. Come wow. here." Wow. And she says, "We can't lose you." <gasps> Don't do that to me after I had some sips of champagne. And I was like I was Hold up. Mm. No, that's a lot. That's that cuz that's what I'm that's I got okay. tissue on deck. You want? Mm. <laughs> no, just sip. Just sip. That's what I'm too. Cause that just and <laughs> that hit me so differently than anything. Beca- in anything, because first of all, mm. that's Anita Baker. Um, the R and B that I was allowed to listen to, sure, that I grew up on. There were there were three albums sitting on my father's uh, record player, Mm. there was New Edition, Guy, and Mm. Anita Baker. Wow. And that's what I would listen to every day I came home from school. Every day. And so, you know, I I met Anita, Anita, I had the pleasure of meeting her a few times, but 
her saying that to me yeah. and in my mind, me not even knowing that me retiring would even reach yeah. the depths of an Anita Baker who is living in her, Anita Baker, we're, we're, in yeah. her own universe mm -hmm. by herself, standalone, right? And, and when she said that, like, I didn't know what to say. Mm. You know, I have so I have words for any type of any situation. I'm, mm -hmm. I can, you know, I can talk and articulate my feelings at any moment at any time. And I did. I had no. I didn't know what to say. And I honestly, I don't even think she realized it. It was so much commotion going on, and so many people thronging her and wanting to be in her space. I literally that like, kind of just backed yeah, out quietly yeah, yeah. and got out of there because it just hit me. It just hit me in such a crazy place, and so. Um, you know, mm. that conversation was, 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 I don't, I don't know what that's going to do to me moving right. forward. Right. Um, and then even before that, I have a conversation with DJ drama mm. and I'm just, you know, I'm quizzing DJ drama about, you know, the success of his label and how he's been able to do it for so mm -hmm. long and mm -hmm. building artists and all these things, you know, cause um, I, I really want to break artists and yeah. DJ drama that that's what he does. Yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, but this retiring thing, yeah, that's not that that's that's not it." He said that. And he was like, "He was like, you have to maintain the platform because that platform is everything in terms of you helping your artists or the next generation of artists. Like that platform has to be maintained. We can't lose that platform." And I was mm -hmm. like, "You know, I heard him at the time, but I'm, I'm still just pushing on retirement uh -huh. and still." And then Anita comes behind and says, "We can't lose you," and I'm like. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Zena. Yeah. I'm sound sorry, like Zena. Because it's for <sighs> me, it's like No, I know. That's how everybody not, takes but, it. But but not everybody would take it that way for every artist. You, some yeah, artists yeah. could say you'd be like, oh, okay, God bless. Okay, good. Good yeah. night. <laughs> okay, Thanks good. Yeah. for letting us know. But for you, I think it's important that that is understood that that place, that throne that's that you've built and created, that's for you. It, like, I would love to sit here and be like, we're so happy about your retirement as friends, you know, but I can't say that your fans are happy to hear that. That doesn't feel good because you have to think about what R&B feels like to you. Mm -hmm. There's no other music. I love all genres. I'm a child of a musician. I love mu I love every piece of genre, every genre of music. But there's no music that makes us feel <clears throat> yeah. like R&B. It's rhythm and blues. It It, it derives from everything our people created whether mm -hmm. it's jazz blues like it derives from everything that who we are it's our soul yeah yeah so it's like the general yeah of general r&b and then right now it's such a crazy time in the r&b world because sure. it's such a fight right now for everybody to say r&b still word. alive r&b's dead everybody has an opinion about r&b mm -hmm. and now you're like on the forefront of mm -hmm. trying to save r&b mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. make it what it's supposed to be and bring it back to what it should be so it's like the moment you decide that you kind of want to be done or walk away from it it's like in the middle of the it's in the middle of the yeah. war it's like tamika mallory saying she's not gonna do the woman's march who we gonna walk with who do we walk with uh yeah so it's <sighs> i encourage all sides and i know that that the the heart is right to really save r&b from a even a resource standpoint like there's so much to work the tank brand to work the tank music mm -hmm. to work that that maybe it's a feeling or I'm asking you, is it, well, how can I also build for other artists if I have to still put so much work over here? We're only human. I think I just have to, I have to manage my time better. It's hard to do that. And it's hard to do that because, you know, but I think that my mindset being kind of in a retirement space mm -hmm. has already given me, um, has already given me the fuel to to move forward really on building yeah. you know what i'm saying and grabbing and, and nurturing and then and then figuring out a time for myself you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i think it's really just going to be about you know trying to figure out how to manage that time better because it's been so all about me yeah that i that i i don't want it to be that because i don't feel like i don't feel like one person is going to save r&b i feel like the collective 
Mm-hmm. Is, and let me Everyone stop saying together, saved yeah. because R&B is, is alive yeah. and it's saved. Yeah. But to get R&B back to its prominence, it's going to take all of us. It's going to take people to feel, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's going to take the people who make people feel. Sure. To push come it. Together. It's going to take real R&B music. You know what I'm saying? Come yeah. together. A great conversation with, with, with Usher. Mm-hmm. And and like it's his like his passion mm. about R and B music is just hearing hearing him say it, having a take from him. I can't give you everything. Of course. But hearing that conversation from him was crazy because you you I heard him like this R and B is my shit. Like mm. I heard a I heard a different, different usher. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Than I'd ever heard. Yeah. In public, or in an interview, or anywhere, like I saw, I saw. That's deep. Oh man, I saw him. Nah, I, I, I fight and bleed for this shit. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, Usher, and so that gave me more fuel. Yeah. Like, that's a real going. Yeah, <laughs> I think. But that's, we gonna be all right. I think that's <laughs> Dog with these shoes, I said, "Are you a gang member?" But RB, listen, (laughs) listen. He and we have to. The the, that's those are the moments we need. Like you know, yeah, uh, it is Usher, um, it is Chris, Mm -hmm. it is Jasmine, Mm -hmm. it is her. Mm -hmm. You know, it's Mm -hmm. it's all of us trying Mm -hmm. to figure out together. Yeah, I think R and B is always. They always pick one person out of the choir. They always grab one person out of the group. They always grab. And so that's how we kind of always live out our careers as wow. that one person. You know, I want to I want to stay on that for a minute because so so back say 90s, right? Let's take it back to our 90s time where there were so many girl groups. Mm-hmm. I mean, there were like 10, 15 girls mm-hmm. out of the time. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about just like SWV, TLC, the main. We're talking about like Bulk and stuff. Oh, yeah, We're talking yeah, yeah. about, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, there's mm-hmm. so many brown stuff. You can keep going. There's so many girl groups. Do you feel that, well, here's my theory, but here's the truth, and I'm just going to say the truth. I feel like Beyonce made girl groups obsolete because once Destiny's Child, <laughs> Beyonce went Beyonce, and we said, wait a minute, what is that? Mm-hmm. And that's out of a group. It almost was like you didn't see girl groups to me in the same light anymore because it was like that's kind of true. Look at Beyonce. <laughs> How well, did that come from a group? Well, I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm gonna add to that. Yeah, I, yeah. you know, I'm just saying, like, you know, we had Danity Kane, which I think was a really good. I mm-hmm. love Danity Kane. I love Danity Kane. I think that they can all sing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm saying that to say, you know male groups girl groups groups were a big part of our r&b heart yeah <clears throat> and like the build of it as well alongside with incredible um solo acts as yourself in the future is does that even have a place that that did that play a role in where r&b kind of went as well well to to jump into that i think that it all like we all like to speak about the bigger agenda and they and all mm-hmm. these other things, right? I won't get into that part of it. I'll speak biz- from the business standpoint. Mm-hmm. And from an economical standpoint, when you see when you see Beyonce have the success that she has on her own, now mind you, uh, 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 Destiny's Child is the highest selling female group of all times, right? So there's th- they did great in economics. But you also, a business person will say, well, look what we did with Beyonce with just one person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, that, and and let's cut out, that we, we didn't have to do two more first class tickets. We didn't have to do to move a girl. glam for two more people. We didn't have to do, wow. Okay, so maybe we should just be looking for Beyonce's. Uh, just economically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just based on the success of, you know, because you know, everybody's chasing lightning in the bottle, which is wow. it's Beyonce, right? Yeah. And so, the economics of a thing, even with solo artists, you know what I'm saying? And so R&B, of course, back in those group days was more expensive. Sure. And what we didn't figure out how to do is how to make it economical in 2020, 2021, 2022. Budgets aren't the same. And artist development department is no longer. I feel so like they, there's and, no more artist development. Well, there's well, not back, at all. Well, back in the day, the, wow. the artist development <clears throat> started in church. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Or on the street corner. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Where you were singing every day on the street corner mm -hmm. with your guys. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or you were singing in the bathroom Perfect. at the high school with mm -hmm. your guys. Or all of y'all went to the same church. Yeah. You're singing in the same choir, singing the same group. So from a vocal standpoint, you know what I'm saying, and a unity standpoint, that was built there. When you got to a label, then how to be an artist was developed. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But everything now is for for his damn self records. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody's mm -hmm. solo minded. Mm -hmm. Everybody's about what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like what I'm on. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't satisfy or if it's, if it if it isn't instantly gratifying to me, I'm out and I'm going to go find the thing that is. So as we are in this instant world and we're talking about groups that take time. Yeah. It takes time. A lot of rehearsal. A lot of even rehearsal. Moves. Even from... Um, even from being a dancer in the business, there were so many artists and groups that I got hired to be a part of for artist development. Yeah. And you're in the studio. You're It's shit that's never seen mm -hmm. anywhere else, but mm -hmm. you're in the studio working your ass off eight hours a day, six to eight hours a day. I don't even hear anybody doing that anymore. Like, just working on it. Can we also give some real finger snaps and hand claps to, was, to, to, to the dancer world and what Zena has also brought to the dancer yeah. world Thanks, and guys. created and pioneered <laughs> I mean, you know, and really pioneered you know, because you dancer. know it's easy for you to say oh you know when i was a dancer no let's let's let's, let's, with... but let's act let's place it where yeah. it really is we're not talking about and no disrespect to any video girls or vixens or anything like that i mm -hmm. love the art mm -hmm. in any form so let's let's not take it out of context mm -hmm. i was both by but the way. no yeah but what i'm saying <laughs> is but it was your art it was right. art that you were creating and for say like my first love was dance which people wouldn't know you know what i mean when i was a little girl i always dance i dance and all, all my dance like partners are all big choreographers and everything no. now mm -hmm. so what you created and opened doors for young girls to come in and dance and create and, and build a career from that you know, and that had a lot to do with the success of artists like yourself. You had to book dancers. You yeah. can't just yeah. be on that yeah. stage, vice. And yeah, you yeah and that's perform. how we met. I was his yeah, first dancer. But yeah, that's, but that's a big part of even yeah. like this conversation about the artist development and what it takes to we create something. We rehearsed, what, 10 ten, days? Yeah. Literally 10 days when I got hired to, wow. do his, to do his video. They were like, okay, we're going to have 10 days of rehearsal, wow. one day video shoot. I was like, 10 days of rehearsal? I was like, wow. oh, you must have a budget budget. Right, oh, right. I, oh, right. I had a, oh, I had a budget budget. Not <laughs> only was it 10 days of rehearsal, it was like, how many dancers do we have? 10. It was, really? It was like 10, 10 to 12 girls, yeah. something like that. No way. Because oh, I was dancing. Yep. We was up at SIR. So I was, I was trying yep. to, you know, I was trying, SIR. To, I was SIR. trying to get my my uh, my Usher Brown on. Period. You know what I'm saying? And that's what was going on. My Chris Raymond. Then even back then, to... even back then, though, for an R&B artist to have ten days no, of rehearsal huge. with dancers and be in there with the dancers, like a lot of people weren't doing that then. Yeah. And he was really giving his all, doing. Why are you smiling? Because <laughs> it was so cute to you. <laughs> Because I always say he wanted to be a dancer so bad. I, I was a dancer. Yeah. You know what made me stop dancing? When the song didn't work. Okay. And I felt like my dancing, dancing had something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that single almost ruined his career. Like. I, I felt like I was however, dancing. However, I felt like I was dancing good. I was dancing great. I was doing somersaults. Everything yes, was great. Yes. We was doing and you put your all into that. But, but when dance. it didn't work. That entire thing for me just felt like a bad place. And I just stopped dancing, period. What do you, no, what but do you... now when you're on stage, like, you got a groove. Oh, no, you got your groove. Oh, no, no, I got and a I make fun of him all the time, the but there. I can say, like, I be jamming with you when you're on stage. Yes. I'm like, shit, he got it. Like, I got a diddy bop. I don't <laughs> think that, you know what I'm yes. saying? And you do jam with him, because while you're recording with your phone, your phone's <laughs> I fall swear with the pop. <laughs> okay. No, he looks great on stage. Like he carries himself so Surely. good on stage, almost as if he's in the studio. Like Surely. he's in rehearsal with somebody, but he's not. He's by himself. Here's That's the crazy part, confident right? Too. Is yeah. that? Oh, he's beyond confident. Very confident. I'm always rehearsing in my mind. Interesting. Tell like, me about that. Like, like, I got. I drive most of the times when I drive, especially when I'm by myself. I don't play any music. Mm -hmm. So when I'm driving or when I have those quiet times, when I'm able to have those quiet times, I'm visualizing. Mm. I'm visualizing everything. Mm -hmm. Like if, if Javon sends me the set list, then I'm visualizing. Interesting. Okay, I'm song the song. I'm going to say this. And then, and I'm going to do that. And then, and then. And I go over it in my head. 
and I and I make sure I have it down packed perfect. Like every time you see me on stage, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing every night with slight variations based on the energy in the room. Sure. But I'm very methodical and very intentional with everything that I do on stage. You know what I'm saying? So that I know where to be when the lights do this and I know where to be when the band hits this. I know where to be. Like You're a little I'm, machine. I know where to be. You know Can what I'm saying? Can you say if, that's missing though from artists now? Because it's like you go back to what like yeah, she's, those saying, eight hour rehearsals. Yeah. And, like I've rehearsed so much sure. to where now in my mind, mm -hmm. now in my mind I can I can build it. And once I build it in my mind, my my my, body, my body yeah. carries it out. Yeah. I know what it is. Like what I've whatever I was visualizing on Friday, when I get to the stage on Saturday, I'm going to do exactly, exactly that. What, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's from first having all those years of rehearsal yeah. and artist development and understanding um and understanding show and placement, you know what I'm saying? And all of those mm -hmm. things. Um and being groomed right. Like so um we can have those groups. If we, we would turn all the way back yeah. to that. We can have groups. Hmm. We just have to we just have to get people who who have been together. Yeah. I was gonna say I before, feel like the groups have to be organic. They can't organic. be put together can't by be put together. because they yeah. never make yeah. it. The groups that yeah. are people that that have their own relationship that's not based on the business. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not based on the that money. It's last. not based on like and people that want their, it together. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. their own because because when you have that, you've argued before. Yeah. You've probably damn near fought before. Oh, for sure. You've had your differences, but you're still together. Yeah. And <clears throat> that will carry over into you doing record company business. The thing that you'll <laughs> stick to is each other because mm -hmm. But you, well, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna talk about my, you know what I'm saying? It's not a group member. You ain't gonna talk about my, my brother, sister like that. Sister, like, what, yeah. like what you saying? Like what you own? You know what I'm saying? Like we mm -hmm. together. It's that bond that we gotta find. And so, if so. there are groups out there that are groups already, yeah, and not trying to be groups for the bag, those groups will work because then, again, they'll understand the economic of it. Listen, this isn't the days of being able to get everybody a hundred thousand dollar advance and then have a three four hundred thousand dollar budget to go along with it no you, we may can only get each person a thirty thousand dollar advance mm -hmm. or twenty five thousand dollar advance mm -hmm. and then we may only be able to get 250 to do the album and do album packaging yeah. you know what i'm saying and then possibly get some sponsorship you know a liquor sponsor or some other sponsor to help get the visuals I'll, done I'll and, a and, and 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 to and to run a full social media program like all of those things it has to be economical mm -hmm. right because that's the business that we're in like i people don't even understand how much artists used to have to recoup back in the day oh man oh my god like i don't think anybody understands well, great we point. were selling more like, records we back know, then but great but point we were spending a lot the bag. Oh, the whole yeah bag. They, got, was, they got that advance and listen let me tell you something, let me tell you like, something. Wait, oh i gotta recoup this first before i came out the gate i was i was maybe 1.5 Maybe 1.5, maybe a little over in the hole. <laughs> Before I came out the gate, mm. in the hole. That's a lot of money. And I, I know numbers are thrown around and people don't understand. That's a lot of money. Money I had to pay back. They said, sir, we need that back. <laughs> All <laughs> of it. <laughs> people need to understand what recoup means. Yeah, recoup. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Ba boom. Yes. Recoup, ba -boom. Recoup, ba -boom. <laughs> Against Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. You know, we aren't living in those we aren't living in those times anymore. We aren't living in no. you know. But that's what you know, that's what my time away from the artist space is what I want to be able to develop. Okay. And be able to teach the new artists coming into the game. Mm. Question. Yes. Tank's number one album chart wise is what? Number one album chart wise, I mm -hmm. think I had seven. your top selling album. Oh. I mean, no, I'm sorry, not album, single chart wise. Oh, or song. When we? When we? What's Tank's number one song to himself though? 
if you could have said that should have been my number one song, even though when we. Right. I'm gonna tell you a song ooh, that should have been my number one song. And Zena, I want to hear. Yours no, too. I'm trying to figure out. Who <laughs> what I know you think gonna I'm gonna tell you a song that should have been my number one song mm-hmm. that I think would have. I mean, I've I've done well. Yes, I've done well. I'm still doing well, but I think would have. I I, <laughs> I, I I don't know, but this might have done something crazy, mm-hmm. and and I don't. I might have. I might have went somewhere else. <laughs> um, Celebration featuring Drake. Oh. Oh, that's well, your song how, well how did that song get together <laughs> let me tell you something you said that's my song that's your song I you love mean? that song <laughs> go ahead that's my song uh, <laughs> no not your song I'm saying that's what so you number one, yes. yeah. no she's saying number one <clears throat> I'm saying number did. one song in terms of the song that mm-hmm. I think could have outdone right. everything all of my songs sure. right like Drake is on fire he's always he's, he's fire. you know what Fair. He's always been on fire, but but he's on fire. Okay, he's on fire. He's on fire. It's heated. And he and he and then we get on the phone. He's like, "Bro, I'm a big fan, man. That's Sex, Love, and Pain." And I was like, "Cause she actually introduced me to Drake." Who got Who got him on Celebration though? I mean, oh, okay, go ahead. You know, sorry. Must you wanna, have been you. <laughs> you, what? you want a pat pat? <laughs> Go ahead, hit your, she go hit your shoulder one time. Too, babe. She I, hit your, I didn't know you was gonna say hit that. Hit your shoulder one time. Since we're here, yeah, yeah, yeah. hit your shoulder one time. Hey, Diddy, fillet, fillet, yeah, hey. I don't uh, even think I knew that. So yeah, it was the time. So so, you you introduced me to Drake because I didn't know who Drake was. I go no, on, I didn't know Drake. I introduced him to the, this, his the music. music. So I go, <laughs> I go so let's clear this up. We, <laughs> have a, we have a past here. So, uh, <laughs> so I go to her house and she's like, oh, this dude, this dude calling you out on this song. You're like, it's, it's crazy. You yeah. got to hear it. I'm like, what song? And sex, love, and pain, baby, mm-hmm. I'll be on that track. I was like, he's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the way he did that right there. I like what he's <laughs> doing. And so like, even from that song, that song coming out, my walkthroughs went up. All of a sudden, I was in the club. You still should loop that. Tank, you wanna, uh, you try, you, you wanna host? I'm hosting clubs, strip I'm clubs, hosting. everything. I was like, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, right? And so, get in contact with Drake, and um, he's like, I'm a man, I'm a big fan, man. Uh, me and my guys love the sex, love, and pain. If you ever need me on anything, just say the word. Uh, well, what word. You well, <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> Since you said <laughs> before we get off this, before call. we get off this call, uh, I don't normally do this, yes, but uh, yes. and I didn't have a song. Mm-hmm. I said, "I'll send you one. I'll send you one." And um, the first song I sent him was sex music. Huh. And I sent him sex music, and he was like, "He's like, he's like, I like it." But I don't think that's the one. And I was like, okay. Okay, okay. okay yes, okay, yes, yes. Okay, don't worry okay. about it. Don't worry about it. Listen, don't, don't send me don't back to the drawing board because I'll go draw, yes. right? So, 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 I, so I went back and the stereotypes had mm-hmm. given me a track, mm-hmm. right? And this track was so crazy that sometimes I get a track and it's so, it, 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 it just, Compelling. it's so amazing to me that I, I'm so into the music that I can't find the journey mm. that, that's supposed to lay on top of it. I can't find it. And I literally listened to that track and I took that track with me to Miami. I remember this vividly. And I remember sitting on, on, the, um, on the balcony at night and I'm looping this track. I'm looping it and I'm just with a beverage like this. Over and over. Over and over. I'm so in love with the music, I can't find the journey. So That's a song. I finally get back to LA. I think I was on like a, just like maybe a, doing a couple dates or something. I finally get back to LA, and this is when we were working in the Underdogs building on, um, on Vineland. And um, so I go up to our room, and, uh, and Jay is sitting there, and I'm like, I'm like, Jay, this track has just been haunting me, it's been killing me. And I was like, I just can't find, I can't find it. And so he's like, he's like, play it, play it. So I play it. And JV was listening to it. He said, it just, it feels like a celebration. Like it just, mm. I said, that's it. Turn the mic on. Uh, turn it on. I said, that's it. 
that's it. At the bottom of that rose, baby, we gon' celebrate. To make it your birthday, baby, we gon' celebrate. Private after party. I can't wait to celebrate <laughs> all up on your body. And then I said, ooh, he's gonna love this one. Because this is it. I can't wait to send this one to the boy. Yes, to the boy. To the yes. boy. And I sent that one to Drake, and he said, yes, this sir. This is it. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is it. He said, I got you. I'm on it. Now, you got to be patient when you get in these Drake verses yeah, now. Yeah, take a take a while. Take okay, a you got to be patient. Take a while to get back. And, I, you know, I would hit <laughs> like him every so often. how long does it take to get back? Just checking on you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Chick- Happy Sunday. Uh, Chicken, check. Chick- with the Chick- family. Chick- <laughs> you good? <laughs> I, 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 I see you moving around, baby. <laughs> hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see you, baby. It's crazy. Now, it's an L.A. Uh, what's uh, going on with you, though? Holla at your boy whenever you get a minute. You know what I mean? You don't, don't want to press. You don't want to stress. Wanna... You don't want to press. You got to be nice about it. You got to be nice about it. You got to be patient when you're trying right. to get the Drake verse now. And uh, <clears throat> wow. And he sent his verse back. And when he sent his verse back, the thing that was most impressive about his verse was him asking me, hey, man, like, do you like it? And if you if you don't like it, man, just let me know. I can redo any of it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, like what? What? No. What? Right. Like and he, he just missed that my from song. his heart. He like missed you that can, from his heart. He's Drake. You can right. drop a verse off and not say nothing. nothing. Give me that. Do with it what you will. <laughs> do what you will with my verse. Like, the hand though. Know, like, do what you will with the verse. <laughs> he can he can do that. Be sure. Right. But the verse was so crazy. I was like, you are out of control. Mm-hmm. You're out of control, right? Mm-hmm. Take this to the label. We have Drake. not only a Drake verse. Features done. It's done. Not only a Drake feature. Features. We have a Drake feature for the love. No, yeah, it was features. I couldn't that. afford no, was... a Drake feature. For the love. No, 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 no. I couldn't afford that. I had a Drake feature for the love. For the love. Mm-hmm. Like, I said, he, he respected you as I an said, artist in your music. What? So I go to the label. I said, "Listen, <laughs> this is on the silver. Listen, this is the most silver platter. Listen, right. This is as silver as it oh, can get. This is right. a platter, platter. I don't have to recoup this." <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> unfortunately, mm. Birdman wouldn't clear him at the time. Is that what happened? And I think, I think Why for a while he thought. I just got just a verse do, from him did and didn't nothing. put it out. I think that he thought that. Yeah. And I, I, I remember having a conversation. I, I said, I said, he said, man, you got the whole thing, and you know what I'm saying. I, you just kind of settled. I said, I said, no, yes, sir. I did not. I argued in my record company, like I said, with uh, shout out to Julie Greenwald, shout, shout out to out Kaiser, to Julie. No. Um, and and they were like, what do you want to go with next? And I said, celebration. Yeah, this this is the next celebration. Right. Is it? And they were like. We don't have the clearance tank. I was like, I don't care. Don't. They were like, I don't care. and they were like, that's not how our legal works. And they were like, they were like, I was like, they were like, we we have tried to get the clearance. We cannot get the clearance. So he said no, or he just wouldn't get no, back to them. No, Birdman wouldn't get. Bird. Back. No, I know that's what I'm saying. He, he said no, or he just well, wouldn't I did get not back to them. This. Can I, we go back in on I've, this? Like, I've I never, wish I would have known I've this. never gotten around to asking Birdman. You know I think what I'm saying? I'm asking right no, now. We need to ask yeah, you know, we gotta ask Birdman nicely. You can't like <laughs> you, you have just, to ask or yeah, ask him yeah, nicely. Oh, I can you, you have to put respect you, you on the wait, time. You gotta put respect on his. You yeah, gotta wait. You, you gotta wait for the right like, moment. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, Birdman, I'm speaking, yeah, man. Exactly. This one time, that man. I, I, we it was, yeah. was calling you, man, yeah. and um, but we couldn't get that clearance. And what ended up coming out? It was a heavy time, though. I'm just now thinking about the time that was going on Emergency and and I can't make you love me. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I can't make you love me. Those songs dropped, but I feel like. After celebration, those songs would have hit way uh, different. Interesting. Those songs would have hit way different. And and that's that that to me, that's my number one song that never went number one. Oh my god. I know it just And then like it. and then like I'll see Drake, right? And he'll be like this, we gotta get one. It's like please. We gotta get and I'm and I'm like this. When? <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> Stop saying this to me. Because <laughs> I get it together. <laughs> I'll get it together, man. I'll, just, I'll come out of retirement now. Just, <laughs> He's going to see this. Let's just, like, let's just leave the party. <laughs> let's just leave the party. <laughs> and go right get this now. one. Right now. We'll bring the studio to you. Listen, what do you need? <laughs> what do you need? 
<laughs> oh my god! And he, he, he said it like three times. Oh, so we and, have to do that. Maybe every, that's the goat. And that's every the time he says song. it, and every time he says it, I get excited. And I say, "Baby, said we're gonna get one." <laughs> she like he did. Look at his face lighten up. He said hey, we're gonna Aubrey. get one. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Make a couple calls. What is your most meaningful album? Great question. Most meaningful album. Wow. They're all my babies. Mm -hmm. They're all my babies. My too. Um, Sex, Love, and Pain. Sex, Love, and Pain is probably my most meaningful album because um, first I had been put on the bench and then due to how much time had elapsed, I'd been written off. Mm. So, you know, I kind of got forced into writing and producing for so many people because I died off as an artist and I needed to feed my kids. You know what I'm saying? I, I, didn't, I didn't have any other choice. That wasn't the space I wanted to be in, but the space I had to be in, which ended up being a major blessing in disguise, right? <clears throat> and when, when we were getting ready to put this album out, a few things happened. You were, Z, Z was there for everything. Yeah. <clears throat> Shout out to my OG Fats, who says, man, I got some guys. If they're not going to play us, I got some guys that'll get us in the game and put the money behind us. Mm. In comes BMF. So Z, me and Z actually fly down to Miami with Fats to go to one of the guys' birthday party in BMF to be introduced to BMF. Wow. Um, and so. Can we give a year on this? Huh? What year? 2005? Yeah, 2004. Be- Four? Yeah, yeah, college dropout. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. So about that time. we go down there and meet the guys, and they're like, yeah, you with us. But even before that, Harvey walks up <laughs> to me and says, we should make a Tank album. I'm like, why would we do that? He said, we just should. Yeah. Like, what do we have to lose? I was like, I was, like, man, they, I was like, man, they're not really fucking with me right now. Like, he said, so what? Let's just make some music. Like, Harvey was just like that. Let's just make music, man. Right? Yeah, I love like Harvey. Yeah, so just, I love just make music. Let's yeah. just make music, man. So what? Right? Yeah. And so we just started working on bits and pieces, you know, of an album. And then in comes BMF and in comes BMF's money to fund the whole thing. And, wow. And, you know, and then comes Barry Hankerson doubling back around. Like, hey, what's going on over there with my artist? Like, yeah. Like, oh, now I'm your artist? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's you my artist. It's going on. Um, <laughs> That's what's going on. It's so, a little hater. <laughs> we have this... Uh, you know, record to present at the time we were being distributed by Motown, mm-hmm. and um, when we turn, when when Barry goes to play the Tank album, we're gonna we, we got Tank ready coming up, lined up to drop. Um, someone says, "Why are we? Why are y'all? Why are we working on another Tank album?" Wow. And I, I had been written off. Wow. Last album, two thousand two, is two thousand six. You didn't get that kind of time back then, unless you no. Janet Jackson. Yeah. I wasn't Janet Jackson. Just to be honest. I was, <laughs> I was no damn Janet Jackson. You know what? <laughs> um, so this album with my heart and soul in it, like my real life Literally. in it. Yeah. Literally my real life. Like I went to the studio. One of the songs when I first started working with the underdogs, I went in as an artist to get, get songs. And they wrote a song called The Wedding Song. <laughs> And they didn't know me. They didn't really know me at all. They didn't know that they had just written a song about everything that I had just left behind at my house. They had written it and put it in a song. And I sat there and I had to stop myself from breaking down crying in front of these strangers. And I was like, what made y'all write that? They were like, we were just feeling the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like this. You were you. You don't even understand what you just said and what you just did, right? And so, and then other pieces of the album, you know what I'm saying? You know, were <laughs> about me and this one right here. Heartbreaker was not about me. <clears throat> Z has made it clear. 
<laughs> heartbreakers. Because everyone asked me that all the time. Heartbreaker, kind of. No, it was not. I was there when you recorded it. Let me finish it. because I didn't write the whole song by myself. Okay. So the pieces that I interject had a little bit to do with us, but it was me, Eric, and Tony that wrote all of it together. So it was pieces oh, of okay. everybody's, you know what I'm saying? But I hate you. <laughs> yeah, that's all you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate you. Yeah, I you hate you. You better wear it like a badge of honor. <laughs> yeah, that's all you, man. Hey. And then you wrote our wedding song. No, no, no. We so, wrote so, our yeah. wedding song, so we made it. So, okay. Yes. So it's so crazy because when the album came out, I was hating called me. so bad. She, she called me. She said, "She said, <laughs> well, shit, so I might as well be in the fucking video, huh? <laughs> I should have been. Better get it. Off the top. You like, better get it, Z. No high, no nothing. No. I got your fucking album. Yeah. I might as well be in all the videos. <laughs> should have had 50% <laughs> writing credit. <laughs> should have started crazy. my publishing back write, then. You always want writing crazy. credit. Give me a point, records. Um, so I think Sex, Love, and Pain, and then just the, um, the influence mm-hmm. of that album. Like, that album has spawned yeah. so many other R&B singers, songwriters, and producers that I had no idea was listening. Mm-hmm. That's so had, many people's favorite album for I had, Sure, I had no idea that that many people you know, were listening. I think the biggest one for me was when, when Chris Brown was like, bro, you're, you're my favorite. Like, your vocals and all this, Sex, Love, and Pain, it's like, that's it, that, that's the Bible. Like, that's what I, I'm playing it right now. I go see Chris Brown at a sold out tour arena sold out and I, and I get on the bus and Sex, Love, and Pain is playing. Wow. He's like, yeah, we've been playing this all day. This is what I play. I got to get my get my vocals right and get hype. And then this, wow. is, this is what I'm like, wow. Yeah. And I'm looking at, and you know, a, a Trey, Trey songs is like, let me listen to that. Let me listen to that album for a whole summer, dog. Right. A whole summer. And after that summer, he comes with Invented Sex and then say, ah, and goes to the stratosphere. You know what I'm saying? It's like, those moments for me, like, that album, um, that album validated me in the musical universe in a, in a way that I I I never imagined. It, it validated me in a way that I've only looked at people. Sure. That I've the, the way that I looked at Babyface. You know what I'm saying? The way that I looked at Kells. The way that I looked at the Reverend John P. Key. The way that I looked mm-hmm. at Kimberly. Like I only saw people that way. Mm-hmm. I never thought that people would see me that way. Mm-hmm. You know. And so, Sex, Love, and Pain did that. I mean. Other great albums and moments after that, you know what I mean? Um, Especially from writing our wedding song together and, um, you know, even like my Stronger album. I love the Stronger album. Can we just talk about that album? Yeah. The Stronger album, which was- Can we just talk about how my kids can listen to that from beginning to end? It's the only (laughs) album they can listen to. I made a decree with the Stronger album, I'm going to make just- wholesome R&B music. Oh, and he I'm promised gonna, to not take his shirt off for the whole album. He didn't. I'm going to go back to the basics. I'm going to go get live so strings. Sweet. I'm going to button it up, suit and all. I'm going to be tasteful tank. And right? they tasteful hated it. Tank. <laughs> and they hated it. <laughs> I'm going to be tasteful, tasteful tank. tank. <laughs> and it was, everybody was like, hmm? They're like, what is Show this? Show the <laughs> Show us your cuts. Show us what we paid for. It was like, who is this nigga? Say, so, sir, your back listen, is all the listen, way to the top. It's so listen, crazy, though, because if you really listen to the songs on that album. album. But guess what I did in that on that You're My Star song in the You're My Star video? Mm-hmm. I danced. Mm. Oh, I never paid attention to that. <laughs> the correlation. Don't dance. Don't dance. <laughs> Cena? Okay. I'll do the I'll do the I'll do the dancing for us. I'll do the I'll do the okay. That is my gift. I danced. <laughs> And they said, no, said no, 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 But that one wasn't bad. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not saying it was bad. Yeah. It just didn't wasn't you. work. And so, but what I was saying about that album was, that album was a combination of a breakup and being broken down. Yeah. And rekindling and being built back up. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that album was a mm-hmm. crazy transition for me going from out of that into this. Yeah, real life. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So like the album had such sentimental value to me. Mm-hmm. I wanted it to work so bad for sure. that reason. I think we both did. Um, but you know, <laughs> they you know they wanted me to get back to the titties. You know what I'm saying? Say, <laughs> sex, love, and pain too. Show us your touch. <laughs> <Like, laughs> Whatever. We don't, don't want to see him happy right now, guys. Okay. This guy's singing. Show us your touch. <laughs> This guy's singing. I don't get it. Show your tits. 
Can we talk about how I always tell you that I always tell Tank because he's like, yeah, I need dancers, I need singers, I need the lights, I need this. I'm yeah. like, you don't need anything. anything. Just and I know he thinks I'm hating because I don't want him to have no you other dancers and spotlight. besides me. <laughs> but I'm always saying, I said, it's really rare that you see an R&B artist this day and age that can carry an entire show. Sure. Carry an entire theater arena with him, a piano, a mic, and a light. And I'm in total he doesn't agreeance. need shit. And I say that to him all the time. Like, I, mean, I guess it makes sense even when you say it, like, well, you do your dancing and it just doesn't work. So they, <laughs> I'm just saying. It's terrible. No, I'm not even being no, funny. I'm I swear to God. With you like, not. the way that he carries an audience on stage is ridiculous. It's, I, I, I love it. I'm I, so amazed by it. I do appreciate it. And it's like, I see that, right? I, mm-hmm. I get it. But, but, when I go to like a Justin Timberlake show. Yeah, and he's giving a little. <laughs> Baby, when I go to Justin. Usher's show. I mean, when I go to Chris Brown's show, I know I can't do nothing. We that. know that. I, it's I, just, that's that's up too up. far. Yeah. But some of the polished things that I see, you know, Usher and JT do, I'm like, yeah. I, I could do something like that. I could do some of that. Yeah, Not all of it. I could give you down on my little four square. I could stay in my little four square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could give you. I feel like. I, and and so I get, I get so enamored, and I'm such a fan yeah. of artists that do it, that I, that I just be wanting a piece of it, not not a whole, you know. I just be wanting a piece of it. And but I think, you on stage is so amazing. You at the sure. piano, you and your personality, you and your comedy, because he has that. a comedy section into his show as well, and it's like. People are like, damn, I didn't know Tank was funny like that. Can we like say a lot that? of people don't realize how funny he really is. In my conversations with people, because I happen to know a lot of people, I always say, I bring I probably bring your name up so many times your ears have to ring because I always tell people no, one, no, no. Ear one of the most that's not fun. One of the funniest <laughs> oh, wow. people I know in this world. She's huh? terrible. See, no, don't even ask me. What she said? Because so she said it on she's this ear, which is the one I can't hear. That's anymore. why I want good. to sit that's on the side. So I'm like, he's not gonna be able to hear half the things. I love you, babe. Yeah. Don't get into my cassette. Like I can hear it anymore. No, but I always say. Tank is literally one of the funniest people yeah. I know in the world. Like, if we're hitting top, like, he's so funny. And that's something I always try to say in conversations when anything comes up artist-wise, music-wise, if you come up. Because I feel like it's something that people really should know about they gotta him. Know, yeah. It's not like I'm so glad you're trying to do a comedy. That it's show, like, yeah. no, that's your personality. Yeah. It's yeah. really who you are. I, I, It took a minute it took a minute for me to be comfortable, you know, with the goofball. Yeah. That is. Because you know, your friends and family know. Yeah, my friends yeah. and family know. But yeah. it took a minute for me to be comfortable with just being that, you know, just on stage. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and it took from, it took being around Jamie Foxx. Yeah. And learning how to, how to deliver it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Understanding the timing of it. You know what I'm saying? To really be able to put it together. Like being, that time with him. You know, being his understudy and just watching, like, oh, that's how you okay deliver God, it. That's how you deliver. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, he's a master at it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I was able to just grab pieces from him that I knew I could take and incorporate into my space. Which you, we've seen you act. We of course have seen you sing. We've seen you dance. Zena sing and sit. <laughs> um, uh, we've seen you have. Um, really great comedy show moments in your show. What do you say to people that act as if you can only have one talent as a person? Like you're really a quadruple threat person organically. Those are your real talents. It's we're in a day and age where you better have more than one talent. Well, you better. Yeah. Like you better be able to diversify that portfolio because my saving grace Quietly was Instagram, mm. because outside of my music, nobody knew me. Sure. So me being able to like show my many talents, display my personality, mm-hmm. show my drip—that's mm-hmm. a skill. That's a gift. Oh my god, it's a gift, Zena. The drip is a gift. Yeah, it's expensive too. Huh. I mean, that it is. <laughs> Talk about it. Okay, sip, sip, okay, sip, sip for right. Yes, it is. Um, but. <laughs> 
being able to put all of these gifts on display sure. is, I think, the thing that changed, of course, people's perception about me, but more so their understanding. Mm-hmm. And and they could figure out what part of me they wanted to buy into, right? Now you you give people options in terms of right. how they want to celebrate you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, his music is cool, but his jokes, he's hysterical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's not really that funny. I don't really like his music, but man, he be ragging. When he put that shit on, mm-hmm. he put that shit on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, I don't really like all, you know what I'm saying? But when he was Gerald Busby in the new edition, he mm-hmm. was killing that shit. Like, mm-hmm. And so, the more you have, I think the less people you lose. You go, I'm gonna get you with something. I'm gonna get you with something. I'm gonna get you with something. That's a good point. You got yeah, too you, much to offer. Yeah. You, you're gonna like me for something. Right. That's a good you know point. Saying? And so I think that, you know, people should not be afraid to to venture out and and grow yeah. and develop all of your talents, all of your gifts. Like there's no one way anymore. Mm-hmm. There are no rules we are in the we are in the wild wild west in terms of being able to monetize anything yeah people are monetizing everything, everything. yeah yeah selling everything there are at I'm least i'm getting exhausted i'm like oh my god no seriously <laughs> there are at least a hundred thousand people that'll buy anything yeah there are billions of people in the world some things you shouldn't sell because some things are. Hey, hey, <laughs> but listen, that, but guess what? That, that there's, a, there's a hundred thousand people. <laughs> they are. There's a hundred thousand people that want to buy that. That is the truth. Okay. There's a black market for, for everything. <laughs> Which one do you actually want to pursue more and invest the most of your time into? Is it com- Would it be comedy or would it be acting? Acting, mm. for sure. Yeah. The comedy, stand up helps me, helps me. You love you know, stand up. Stand up helps me perfect my timing. When I'm yeah. in front of the camera acting, interesting. Because as much as I wanna, I wanna save the world and and, and shoot them up and be like, not the rock, but like maybe the pebble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. 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 Okay. Um, <laughs> the rock. I know. The, pe- the pebble. I got that. Yeah. Okay. I gotta work on that one. I need a um, <laughs> <laughs> you work on your material. <laughs> 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 I'm that one in the in the audience. <laughs> A, a horrible game. But did he laugh? She laughs at everything. She laughs at everything you She's do. your friend. She's your, she <laughs> believes in you. She believes yeah. in you. Yeah. Um, acting for sure, because I feel like at some point I'm gonna end up like in the romantic comedy space. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, rom com. Like, that's to. that's where I'm. At. I'm a rom com And you want to be a superhero so bad, though. I do want to be a superhero, but I think he could be a superhero. I think even within me being a superhero, I could still be fun and funny. Yeah. Shit, the superheroes nowadays they're Please. hysterical. They're the ones. They are funny now. So like Ryan yeah. Reynolds. Yes. Ryan Reynolds oh, is so absolutely funny. hysterical. Please. I love Ryan Reynolds. I love Ryan Reynolds too. I'm a rom com fanatic. Me too. Like. That I'm choosing that over everything. Me too. I want to ask about, okay, most artists, thank you, TZ, that can mm-hmm. actually really sing. I won't say most, but a lot of them, a large number of them came from church. Mm-hmm. You as well. Yes, for sure. What do you think it is about that almost training, really? You know, like even musicians, right? Mm-hmm. A certain way your greatest keys player or drummer, right. mm-hmm. bass player. Mm-hmm. Now I thought I said they came from the church. Yeah. What What is it about that? I mean, I love the Lord, so I know. I'm talk about but it. But what yeah. is it about that that I think makes some of the greatest vocalists and musicians? I think... I think in... I don't want to go too deep, but... I right. think in God's presence sure. is the ultimate place to train. I'm gonna run around the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run around. She'll catch it. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Hurry, that champagne glass. That champagne glass will win with me. Oh my God. <laughs> that Baptist came oh, back. Oh, you with your shout face? That's right? <laughs> that she was Baptist, catching it. That 
Baptist hey, yeah. came back to me. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My oh my God! Answer the question. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's, it. See, that's actually what it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, that that is that is the ultimate training grounds in mm. the presence of God, mm, 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 mm. and and having, um, having the Spirit guide you, um, having the Spirit help teach you and 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 groom you, and you know that that is the connection of the church. Mm. You know what I mean? Like those critiques in the church are different. Sure. Um, and, and, and I think ultimately in the church, what they want you to have is a connection to what you're doing to not just be doing it, wow. but to actually have a reason, you know what I mean? To actually have, um, have conviction mm-hmm. for it to, for it to live in you before it comes out of you. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And there's no other place to get that. That's so except, true. except in the presence. What do you feel like this new generation is gonna do? Because I feel like people, they ain't in the they're presence. not in the church. They're out they're of not the church and not presence. in the presence. Well, there are. There Some, are, but nowhere near like ours back in the nowhere day. Nowhere near like we're not, ours. We're, we're not, I won't, I won't say we, but I will say there used to be a poaching, hmm. you know what I'm saying, in terms of the church. Like a and would go to church. Like right. my guys found me in church. Really? Yeah. I was in church when the guys came and got me. Hey, really? like scouts. Come <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you got it. What's happening? You want to sing R&B? Right. I said no for the longest. I only sing for I God. can't do secular. No, sing no, no, for no, the Lord. Lord. No. I, I only sing. <laughs> Look at you now. For the Lord. <laughs> Whatever. Um <laughs> Put I remember your like out. <laughs> back in back in like 10th grade, Virgin Records came came to get our group and was like, "Listen, really? you guys would be amazing. Um you guys can sing you know, you guys can sing good music, you know what sure. I mean? And if you wanted to sing about Jesus, it could be like pronoun gospel. Like, you know, you could sing, have, have the message, but you know, no and, and you know, we have tours lined up with Janet Jackson and all of that. And they were just like, they were laying it on like, we we want you guys. And and we were like, if we can't say the name of Jesus, uh-huh, yes, yes, yes. there is no place for us. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and when I look back on that time. When I, I look back. Like, oh God. <laughs> Um, yo, holy roller. You know it was what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, that, no, that no wonderful name we of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I think that I think that a lot of people have just stopped looking in that place wow. for for this thing because this thing isn't mainstream is it anymore. Yeah. It isn't pop culture. So. They're not looking for that. What's pop culture now is the streets. Mm-hmm. What's coming off the street mm-hmm. on that conveyor belt? That's where we go look for our next whatever. We go looking in the streets. But they used to go looking in the, in church. the church. How else do you get Aretha Franklin? How right. else do you get Aretha Franklin? You got to go to the church to get Aretha. Oof. Yeah. She not Aretha ain't at no nightclub. She's not. <laughs> she, she at the juke joint. Aretha she ain't, ain't at, at the, the juke joint. <laughs> she went at the juke joint. No, no, no. You, you got to go. Yeah. Wow. You, you got to go down, down by Aretha's house. Yeah, you do. On that corner. Right there, that church. Right, that's where she at. Right. And so, I think... I and you got to talk to her parents. I think they're there. <laughs> you, <laughs> yes, I parents. think they are there. Um, um, Tashawn, who produces Feather. Mm-hmm. It's a church kid. You can yeah. hear it when he produces. Yeah, you can you hear it. You can hear it when he sings. He's a it. church kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, without a doubt. Yeah. So they're there. Um, it's just going to take the people who know where it is and mm. know what to do with it to go get it. Like you. There it is. Steve. Acting. What is the difference mm. on stage right seeing and then on set portraying 
whatever this role may be. The difference is like on stage I'm I'm tank. Like that nuance is completely developed already. Um a song may be new, but mm. it's still a tank song, right? Um or when they come to see me perform, they come to see Tank okay. perform. Um, when people come to see me act or turn on the television, they they expect to see Tank, but they don't. Hmm. And I have to be able to give them the character that they, 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 they came to see, right? Let's say the title is, I don't know, uh, Saving the Hood. Got right? the hood. Let's, say the, let's Save the Hood, right? The Pebble, featuring the Pebble. You Gina, like you featuring like the Pebble. I got it. Okay, Go The ahead. Rock, The Pebble. All right, whatever. And, um, <laughs> We're going to get this joke. <laughs> That's like, like this you're <laughs> um, They don't want to see... They don't want to see Tank the singer save the hood. Hmm. They want to see this character, for lack of a better title, Action Jackson, mm -hmm. save the hood. And so I then have to find the natural spaces within me that I can dedicate completely to that character and not go off into these other spaces. Like, I can't save the hood and be, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, right. that's Tank. Right. I can't do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't. Like, there's certain things that I can do as Tank that don't work for the action Jackson, Jackson character. character. You know what I'm saying? When I'm doing the interview, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm doing my interviews as Tank, I have to be personable. I gotta be fun. It's gotta be like, yeah, Tank is cracking the jokes. But when I'm Action Jackson, I'm saving the hood, I have a real concern for the people on my street. Right. How are you gonna help us or do we need to help ourselves? Look at how his whole demeanor just, just changed. just hopped into it. I'm sold. You, you know what I'm saying? Sold. Sold. <laughs> Land. Atlanta. Yes, yes. Zena. Action yes. Jackson 3. Call it out there. Yes. Um, saving so, the hood. So it's like, it's still me, but it's dedicated nuances to that character. It's not everything that you've seen me do before. It's not all of Tank. It's just, it's linear. It's one piece right here. This, These are the pieces from me that create that character, that mm -hmm. connect with that character. We're only using these pieces That's right here. Good. That's why I can't do it. You can do it. Z wants to do it. She should though. <laughs> you she got no comment though. She's too damn funny. No, but that's just she. Did you hear her? She's did too you funny. Hear? Dude. What did I just say I know, the other day? I know you're funny. funny. You are funny. I laugh yeah. at you all the time. <laughs> yes. No, she has to. She's ridiculous. I have great comedic timing. You do, but you, you have to do, do it in front of the camera. Anybody out there is wants good. to know. You have to do it in front of the camera. I have a camera right here. I'm good. It's not the same. It's not the same. Okay. Yeah. It's no. It's no action. We'll just work on it. No There's Jackson. no last looks. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Them last looks make it. Last <laughs> looks. Oh, okay. oh, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, it's about sweating. to happen. It's about to happen. <laughs> it's about it's about to happen. Sweat. <laughs> oh, that's me? My <laughs> line. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is oh, it? Oh, that's <laughs> me? Lie. One more time. You just started. Can I lie. get a teleprompter? Go to Y'all got a teleprompter? Because <laughs> I can't remember shit. Tell it to the director. Lie. I need giant size. <laughs> size giant. And then I, I need my see. glasses. And then <laughs> I need my glasses. Let me see what this is. All right. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. It's not wrong. Oh, it's the nighttime. <laughs> like, just cut. <laughs> what do you want people to know about you that you don't think they know? That I don't think they know? Mm -hmm. What do you want some people to know about you? I don't think that... You think you lay it all out there? And I don't want, it, I don't, I don't want this to sound you know, come off wrong, come off weird, but mm -hmm. I don't, I don't necessarily care what they do or don't know about me, mm -hmm. do know or don't know about me. What I would like to feel like 
is, or what I would like to know about myself Mm -hmm. is that I've done my best. And to some people that's gonna be amazing, to some people that's not gonna be enough. If I get caught up in either, I'll lose. Wow. So I don't. I don't have an expectation of of what I want people to expect or to understand or to even believe in. Mm. I just I just want to do my best and and live with whatever the results are. Like that's that's true happiness for me. Like I I laid it all out there. I, I went crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's always gonna be somebody in the comments. Like somebody was somebody said somebody said something about you a true king or something like that. And then somebody went in the comments and said, you ain't no king. You ain't uh, never been no wait. king. And you, was, Child, they be hating. I was like, well. The comments is a crazy place. But you know what, though? We can say hating, but to that person, That's perspective. I'm, That's what I'm not their king. To that person, I'm, I'm not that sexy to them. I'm not handsome to them. You know what I'm saying? My body all built up with all of these muscles. They don't like that. Okay. I do. <laughs> That's all for you. It's really all for you. Amen. You know so, so, so I don't. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get hot. I love you. Yeah, get you hot. know how you ride on the. You yes. know upstairs yes. is close by. Bang, 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 Go ahead, answer your damn question. Bang, bang. <laughs> so go ahead, answer your damn question. <laughs> the time it was oh, so good. But. You, you you can't get caught up. You can't get caught up into that. You know, yeah. I, I give I give very eloquent answers in interviews. I want to be known as the hardest working man mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in R and B music. Um, but some most people aren't even going to see that. Yeah, and it's like he worked hard. He worked cool. He ain't worked hard. Right. They have no idea. Okay. And so you 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 can't expect them to know. Yeah. You can't expect them to really unless truly. they're really following your journey. Yeah, I mean, and and or close up, they still don't yeah. even know. Like, still don't even see like how for, hard. Like, yeah, you and, know, for, you know. But yeah. for me, it's this close. Yeah, yeah. Like because because the honesty that I have in this room governs everything. Sure. So if anybody in this room comes to me and says, "Hey, that ain't it," yeah, it's not okay. Let me. You know what I'm saying? Or if somebody yeah. in this room comes to me and says more of that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the bar for me. You know what I'm saying? Like my my circle is our circle is yeah. of the people that really care about us it's and really yeah. it's small. Mm-hmm. It's and trusted. It's trusted. And that's where I live. So if you didn't actually leave the church to go to the R and B world. Wow. That's he ain't left the yes, church. Yes, he did. I oh. sure did. I shook on him. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to save him. I tried she to save him. Shook on him. <laughs> Good luck. Put a backpack on. Mm-hmm. Jesus save us. I will send my offering. He left. Yes. For, he left for the bag, <laughs> so he could send it back home. Mm-hmm. Right. That's how it works. Glory. Where do you think that you would see yourself? Like, what? What were you into doing? What was your hobbies? What? What did you ever see yourself doing besides music? I was a football player. Wow. For sure. So you'd be an athlete. Athlete for sure. I mean, I, you know, when did I you, when did I, you ever get paid doing huh? anything athletic? He left the church early. I mean, it was I'm just, just asking. I was a teenager when when this ha- all happened. You oh, know what? Seen it. Get, were you a profession? <laughs> Did you get a check? Uh, you get a check? No, I, I never got to that point. Music <laughs> happened. Said, what was his hobbies? Uh, what did he like? Like, um, but you know, when I when I my first time dunking in the eighth grade, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was gonna be a star. I could bounce. I could run fast. I could you know, score touchdowns. All of that. Um, so I thought that that was my path. And church kind of got in the way of that, mm-hmm. you know, got in the way of me pursuing a lot of that because it was always choir rehearsals, mm-hmm. it was always group rehearsals, it was always a church got something to do on Saturdays, so I couldn't really dedicate myself to sports like I wanted to, but I was I was still really good. Um, but I think, you know, music has always had a way of just kind of like tapping me on the shoulder every now and then, like, I don't know why you trying to do all that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, this this is it right here, you gonna be with me, I'm just trying to tell you, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. 
Like in ninth grade, when them girls started screaming at that assembly, when I started singing. Because it's the assembly. <laughs> it's always it's the assembly. assembly. Come on it in is. the multi-purpose room. It is. <laughs> the multi-purpose room. Right. Really. So, you know, that sent, that sent a rush through my body that I never had before in my life. And so there were always moments, even in the football field on the huddle. I'm singing in the huddle. I'm like, Babs, come on, man, That's be serious. Hilarious. I'm like, I can be serious yeah. <laughs> if you give me the ball. That's how he talks all the let time. Let me run <laughs> all the for time. a touchdown. Like, I was that guy. Look you at know my face. <laughs> oh, so, you know, it just always had a way of letting me know. And then when I went to, when I was going to college, I had offers for scholarships to school at schools I didn't want to go to, partial scholarships to the schools I did want to go to. Mm-hmm. Um, and ended up getting a full scholarship to Morgan State for music. Wow. Like, All right, well, maybe I'll take my full scholarship uh, and then play football on my music scholarship. And they were like, no, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> we gotta let you do that. You gotta recoup. You gotta recoup. Exactly. You gotta recoup. We need you Early doing on. football yeah, practice yeah, yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah, we gonna need you, man, yeah. to do these, you know, do these classes. Yeah. Um, and so, Music has always had a way of reminding me, like, I hear you, but this is where you're supposed to be. Wow. And so. So it's always meant to be. It's always meant to yeah. be. I, I Listen, I'm an athlete to this day. You know that. I work out oh, twice yeah. a day. Yeah. Um, but that's just, you know, that's my nature. That's the competitive nature in me. That's just always going to be there. But music has, music has always given me no choice. Wow. Instruments. I think yeah. that. What has to be really celebrated are musicians. Mm. He's a true musician. Mm. That's my point. But you he know, don't even know he really plays drums. Here go here lies yeah. my whole point because again my conversations outside yeah. you know with uh, so many people and no he's not just an artist. There's artists. Shout out to the artists and then there's true musicians. Yeah. You know and and that's what you are and I think your your humility in it kind of probably speaks to your true passion and love for it. Right. Because you don't say, like, <clears throat> even I have people telling me, oh, we didn't know that Tink played the piano. You know, when you started going live and doing the piano on Instagram a lot more during yeah. COVID and stuff mm-hmm. like that, just out people that are like fans and stuff like that. I'm like, of course he plays the piano, he produces, he, yeah, but everybody knows don't that. know that. Yeah. Let, me, let me give you a bar. Let me give you a bar. Oh, wait on that. I'm, uh, shout out to Puff. Brother Love, Brother as, Love. I, as I like to call him, <laughs> um, went to his house the other day. He said, "He said uh, we're going to Jamal Vine's house." I said, "What? Okay, okay." He said, okay. "Roll with me." So right said, now, roll, roll with me, Playboy. Okay, it's okay, okay. Right yes, now. sir. Yes, sir. And heavy room. Ugh. Um, just you, you like you walk in this room and you're like, "What is this? Yeah, what is?" And they're playing vinyl I think vinyl um heavy room shout out to my brother Larry Jackson oh, yes um amazing brother and sitting there this man by the name of Dr. Dre Woo. <clears throat> my goodness my goodness <laughs> my goodness <laughs> And I've, 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 I've met Dre a sure. couple times, but we've never actually really been able to have an exchange. Yeah. And so, you know, um, at some point, you know, during this whole room thing that's happening, he's like, he's like, he's like, man, you know, we just, you know, we always meet and pass him, man, but we've never ever gotten a chance to, you know, wow. really like tap in. And he, like he says, I was like, yeah, man, I was like, I've, you know, I, well, I've always wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I was just, I'd love to. Yeah. Wait on the and, call. You know what I'm saying? And, and so, and so I'm just sitting there next to him. We're just talking about the records that are playing and talking about the instrumentation. And I'm watching, like I'm watching Dre as he's listening because Dre hears everything. everything. Like, and so I just, well, I'm watching him while, while he listens and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just yeah. catching his energy, right? And he's like, uh, he's like, so Tank, you know, like, like he's like, hey, do you write? I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said Dre, I do everything. <laughs> Sir, yeah, I do. No, I, said, I do everything. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not doing it. I said, I do everything. He said, he said, okay, okay. okay. See, you, you playing the instruments? I said, Dre, I do everything. He said, come here. Mm-hmm. We get up. I love this. We walk out the room, and we go to a piano. And he starts playing, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, okay. He said, let me see something. You? Dookie, bing, bong, 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 bing, 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 Oh, you. Oh, you I said, play, I said, play, play. So, oh, then, play. so then he started playing something else. He started playing something else. He said, he said, I said, oh, I, I see where you're going with that. You're going here. Dre's watching me play the piano. Listen, he said, oh, you that? Oh, you like that? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we need to get out. Yeah, yeah. He's like, and you probably, you, 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 you need to see my crew. You need to see my musician. I said, I promise you that your musicians are probably my, <laughs> my musicians. musicians. <laughs> right? As soon as we get there, my Tell guy Bluetooth walks in. I say, like, I'm trying to I'm tell, trying you, to tell you. you. Your guys are my guys. Right? <laughs> and But it goes back to what you were saying where a lot of people don't really know mm-hmm. that I do it all. Yeah. And so, you know, having Dre, Dr. Dre, like, recognize it and say, oh, that's that's a gift. That's different. And yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm brand new at a, as a 46-year-old man. I'm like, this man, Dre likes me playing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but it was so high. I, I'm so, so, that's so high. That's so incredible. Yeah. I mean, Dre is moment. really the producer Bible for a lot of producers. Yeah. His drums oh in my particular, God. It, for sure. Just, but he's, just, he's his one of those guys. Work. He's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's, he's made the coldest, some of the coldest bodies of work mm-hmm. of all times. And so I'm sitting in the studio, mm. you know, with 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 Dre and Puff, mm-hmm. like bro, like I'm sitting here and I'm like, yeah. like, yeah, I'm in the business and yeah, I've been successful at it, but there are levels. Mm-hmm. I understand those levels, mm-hmm. and so when I'm sitting in the room with those levels, I am paying attention. Sure. I am taking notes because I am trying to get to that level. And, and making myself available as a musician or as a songwriter mm-hmm. or as a background singer <laughs> or whatever's needed in the moment. You know what I'm saying? You speak about humility. Yeah. I love music. Whatever you need me sure. to do, let's get it. I don't care what it is. Let's get, um, you just need me to clap? Okay, let's get He came home so that inspired that night. That's what it is, though. He man. came home so inspired that oh night. I said, this fool going to do another album. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> that was retiring. <laughs> This fool we, into another. We are now. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dre. Appreciate yes. it. Yeah. But like, even but that just, inspiration you yeah. can't pay for, you can't muster up, you can't find it. That yeah. you just that is ima- so magical. Like you gotta imagine, you know, a puff saying, "Listen to this," and playing what music for you, looking at you like, mm-hmm. or Dr. Dre saying, "Listen to this," mm-hmm. and like looking at you like, I need your feedback. Like and like, mm-hmm. like getting your take on it like yeah. like you're gonna say anything other than it's amazing because it's absolutely amazing yeah you know like i said I, there are levels yeah and 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 growing and still wanting to grow to be preferably be on that level yeah. one day like these guys are guys yeah. these guys are 500 million dollar mm. plus guys huh yeah i need to i need to be around them that here I am. What does this house look like? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the studio look it's, like? it's, it's more of that discovery that I think. Discovery is a great word. As, right? Yeah, it's more of that discovery that, you know, as I move into these other spaces and I'm able to rub those kind of elbows and things that I think more people will be exposed to. Oh, we can we can call Tank for everything. We can count everything. on him for that. We can yeah. count on him for everything. Yeah. We can count on Tank for everything. Outside of piano, what's your favorite instrument to play? Because people now know you play the piano, but that's not the only instrument you play. Drums is my is is my favorite to play. That's your church I'm, boy. In yeah, you. I'm not as good at <laughs> I'm not as good at playing drums as I am at playing piano. Only because, you know, I don't play drums as much. All the time. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, when I was younger, I, it was drums first, then piano. But wow. you know, g- girls didn't really they didn't really move when I played the drums. You know what I'm saying? We can't see them that far. So, back. It's always girls. You know what I'm saying? Always when girls. I played that piano, the girl, that girls are sit, them, them girls are sitting up on that piano like, sing that one part again. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on the piano. Like, on the piano, the girls could gather around the piano. The oh. drums was too loud. Don't say the girls could gather around that piano. They could gather around the piano. You hit the single girl. That, 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 that one too loud. Don't, the don't hit that thing again. That, bottom, that one too loud. Bottom. That thing at the bottom, that's too much. Right? The organ didn't get you nowhere? I was just going to say the organ. 
<laughs> the, I mean, that was just the, or, the organ working. only gets you the, the real church girl. Yeah, the you know what old saying? lady. The, older, the, 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 the deaconess. The yeah, organ that gets you the deaconess. <laughs> Well, tell, you, her, tell them about your experience in Rome. With the deaconess. No, no. Uh, oh, oh, no. In well, Rome. I, when I went to Rome, and I, what, what was the, what, which chapel? It was the Michelangelo Church. The Michelangelo no, Church. They, let me, they let me play the, the, the pipe organ. What? Yeah. It you was, don't have video of that? I do. I do. I do. We oh, don't, don't you, it. Yeah, oh, come They let me play the pipe on. organ, and it was like The different. church was closed <gasps> down, locked up. We were the only ones different. in there. Because that cadence is, different. and that in there, that. It's, oh. it's, it's a different movement that it took me a second to, collect and in different How notation beautiful. it was different i had to it took me a second to like i was like oh you can't do that you got to do this like this and then do that uh god okay got it got it but it was wow. like it was like amazing and to hear it in it was so in spiritual that, in there? oh my yeah. god it was, I was crazy like, it was crazy it was crazy so That's yeah unreal yeah the organ ain't really it, it, it'll get you, you know, a deacon. It got you in Rome. It got you in Rome in the Michelangelo. <laughs> How many people can say that? Right, no, right. Not a lot. Not, not a, a lot. lot. Not a lot. Z? Huh. <laughs> sip, <laughs> sip. R&B Money, the label. Yeah. Look at First of all, let's talk about how you came up with R&B Money. R&B makes money. R&B makes we money. We know. But I'm saying, what made you just say, I'm going to call my label R&B Money? Yeah. Because I kept watching Young Money. Interesting. Cash Money. Everything, like, everything that, that was being successful at the time was all predicated on money. Mm -hmm. Everything that everybody was doing at the time was flashing their money, trying to put they, they drip on to show you that they got money. And... You know, in the club, popping all the bottles they can pop to let you know they got money. Mm -hmm. Pulling up in the craziest whips to let you know they got, got money. money. Hmm. Everybody's trying to figure out how to make money. And they only want to be associated with things that they feel like are making money. Yeah. What is the call out to let people know that R&B music makes money? Oh. R&B money. money. It wasn't rocket science. It was as simple as that. Yeah. I want people to associate R&B music with making money. R&B money. And it wasn't a selfish ploy. It wasn't like I'm the only one who's made R&B money. Sure. These R&B money hats are going to go on so many different people's heads who... You know, so many established artists came and shell. Send me one of them R&B money hats. Mm -hmm. You know I'm R&B. Like, mm -hmm. it's that. It's, a, be it's yeah. a movement with being able to, once we get this merch yeah. together, give this merch out to those who are in the R&B money sector, fraternity, <laughs> yeah. fr fraternity and sorority. Like, we're, we are a unit yeah. that makes R&B money, that makes R&B look good, that makes R&B feel good. Makes yeah. R&B smell good. We keep R&B expensive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're very expensive. It's a, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. What you mean? <laughs> He's more expensive than me. Can I'm, you believe that? I'm it? not. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes, you are. Look at your ring and look at my ring. Woo! I, that's because I bought that and you bought this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your, cheap. <laughs> your ring costs more than this and this. That's beautiful uh, rings. Though. You know, just, 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 we'll tell you, you know, people uh, in person. Uh, edit that part out so we won't get robbed. Yeah, um, yeah anyway. I was just thinking that too. Once I said that, I said, well, I don't think Stop I'm playing with these people. <laughs> yes. um, but, you know, it's, it's that association. And so while these kids are enamored with the idea of being able to make money, that's the call out. That's the flag. Mm -hmm. And then once we get you in the building, we can teach you how to do that properly. Mm. There's an education that goes mm -hmm. along with R&B money. It's not just, we're going to make some money. No. R&B money needs to teach their artists a financial literacy class. I mean. Because these insane. kids got to know. <laughs> no, they know. They have to, they have to know. There has to, I mean, we were talking with Tiffany Fred and just about all of those things and all of those um teachable moments that that should be in a sense if not required at least offered like yeah. if, if it's not required as a part of your deal it should at least be a space yeah within your infrastructure where 
this talk. You can go to this class. You can go learn this and you can ask these questions and you can get the game. Um, Cause somebody has to know it. Yeah. Either somebody you trust on your team, you know what I'm saying? Or you, that they can, you know, relay this information to you. Like sometimes creative don't, creatives don't want to be bogged down mm-hmm. with the business of it all because they it don't want to read contracts. It is, they don't it, it is, no, it is, it is, to. it is stressful. Yeah. Like to try and, you know, um, brain fatigue is a real thing mm-hmm. where you're trying to dig through contracts and, and negotiate and then go to the studio and try to make a hit record. Like mm-hmm. that's a lot, you know what I mean? But the information has to be, um, made more available. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think for, for artists and, you know, we, we are definitely a part of wanting to offer that so that you know how to manage I love that. your R&B. I love that too. That's information. I love that too. I love that too. I think it's important, especially kids that make it in music. Um, a lot of times they're from places that, you know, whether it's from inner city neighborhoods right. and mm-hmm. things like that, and mm-hmm. those things weren't taught. You know, even for me, that wasn't taught. Fast yeah, either. money I was taught. I had to figure it out myself. I had to figure yeah, it out. Fast money was taught, not fast managing money. Fast money was taught, not managing, I had to not learn keeping by, it. I had to learn by default. Yeah, and yeah. also I think in, in black and brown homes, we almost teach our kids to save for something. Like save for that car you want, save for the house. It's like, well, there also should be a lifestyle of saving as well so that you just have. So it's just all these like nuances mm-hmm. that I think, like you said, Zena, are very important to teach these artists that are coming and everything like that. Artists, yeah. Yeah. Um, and royalties and things like that, which you Different know so much about differently yeah. than what newer artists, yeah. you know, do. Because like, like, there was this thing going around for a while where people were just like being hype about owning masters. And I'm like, I get it, but, but do you do you know what to do with masters? I have no clue. Do you know what it means to have own to own it? Do you know how to do you know how to generate from mm-hmm. revenue from your masters? Mm-hmm. Most of them don't even know what that means. They just hear, yeah, I, and I want to own my masters. They heard Jay Z say it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do you want to own your masters? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to own your masters versus being partners with somebody, mm-hmm. partnering up with your masters who who have a global infrastructure to help you monetize your masters? Right, help you monetize it. Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? You don't know, huh? You just, the lingo is just going around. So it's that information. I definitely wouldn't as an artist. It's it's that information. It's those kind of things that need to be taught. Even if you're at an an independent. Okay, got it. You've got a, you got an 80-20 or, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or or 85-50. That's fine. But somebody's going to have to administrate your masters. You don't have the infrastructure. Right. You don't have the relationships. You don't even know them people. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know them people. You don't know those people. You don't know the first person to call to license masters. Or email. E- you don't have an email. Mm-mm. You don't even know what to Google. You don't even know what to Google. So, you know, we, we, we are about, like, that's what, you know, that's what the label, that's what the podcast, that's what all these things are about, mm-hmm. about no, being No, you guys definitely have some teachable moments in your podcast. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's about being informative. Yeah, very Because there are so many things... There are so many things that you learn through experience only. Oh yeah, only like they're the greatest a, teacher. You're just not in the book. I don't care how many music books you read or music business books you read. Most of that stuff that we do, that we talk about, that we negotiate, is not in those books. Right. The rate may be how you get to it. Mm-mm. My God. <laughs> my god the bartering oh the barter the taking less to get more the knowing what to do in that moment that decision part like shh, what Listen, am i even supposed to the do the promoter that? don't have your back in oh that, that ain't in the book your back in. what you do because <laughs> i done been like let me this see how i talk to this <laughs> yeah Listen, i know you know the, i've been on both sides in the tournament that's i don't play about artists the, and getting them their money listen the promoter ain't got your back in but it's three thousand people out there Right. What right. do you do? What do you do? Sure. I came to see you. Oof. Do you know that the promoter and the building are two separate people? They're separate. Do you know that you can go to the building and say, hey, man, your promoter that is using your building mm-hmm. doesn't have my money. He's going to make your building look bad. Right. 
Are you prepared to do something about that? Go in and say, front me that money and then Pe- take it up with the promoter. People don't, they don't even, it's not in the book. And you know that by default. Learn Man. it. <laughs> Hard knock life. Hard knock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or it's 3,000 people out there. Fuck it. I'll never work with him again. Turn right, the music on. Right, right. And I'm going to give him a Let's show work. of a Let's lifetime. work. Turn the music on. He's definitely he's, good for that. He's dead to me. Because I'd be sitting I'm back like, like no, too, no, 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 we ain't got the bag. No, no I'm like that too, though. And, yeah. I'll, and I'll make sure it's understood. My fu- I'm, no. Ever. Right. I'll tell my friends. I'll tell my friends. I'm everybody. the same way. He'll tell Instagram. Oh, I'll yeah. Tell Instagram. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. Because that business part, which we we could talk creative, we could talk all these beautiful, grandioso things as an artist, but the biz, the music business, business as side. you keep yeah. saying, the yeah. economics, all that, that is an important component of it. Like, the biggest, the most important, the successful ones understand and do business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you can like, be a creative. Even all us you restructuring want. our business, it was, it was, to the benefit of, of both of us, me, mm-hmm. uh, us and our partners. Sure. Because, to them economically, they weren't taking a risk, mm. and to us, economically. We were just betting on ourselves. And yeah. so they were like, yeah, cool, let's rock. Yeah. And we were like, let's rock. Yeah. And so then it just became about the work. If it's just about the work, oh, yeah, we're going to win that one. Yeah. But a great partnership because we're not making we're not making our partners jump out the window, you know what I'm saying, on the first day. Yeah. But we are willing to take the hit to show them that we are worth being partners with. We are worth being in bed with. And that then, on the backside of that success, it's like, you know what? I'm going to give you a little more to keep doing that. Mm-hmm. You know what? We're going to give you even more to that to keep doing that. Do you have those conversations say, I need more? Or do you hope that they'll say, we're going to give you a little more? No, I don't. I, I don't. I am. I am comfortable with continuing to bet on myself. Mm-hmm. I really am. Like, I just when I look at the numbers, and I think everybody should get their bag. If you're worth something crazy, by all means, if you can get it, get it. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to owe. Like. You know, I like I said, I'm in I'm an owner of my masters Mm -hmm. and I want to eat off my masters every bi quarterly. I want a six figure check to come in. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see. Your work. (laughs) For my work Mm -hmm. for the rest of my life. Sure. I mean, sure, we can cash out and get, you know, this big old Mm -hmm. lump sum up front and not longevity. It's, it's, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's the long game. You know what I'm saying? And then you start digging holes in so many different places where it's like at a certain point nobody wants to do business with you because all you have, you know, you you have a trail of debt behind you, and and nobody wants to do business with a person that is known for Just being say that in again. debt with the right. story along st- with each trail of debt. Trail of debt. <laughs> right. No. Every. Every. I'm I'm in the black. Yeah, I live in the black. I'm with you. That's why people don't mind doing business with me. That's why people don't mind doing business with us. We live in the black. Yeah. I don't care what it is. We're in the black. You do have a great partnership, though. Something that's kind of unheard of. Mm-hmm. You know what? That's a that's a very great that you say that. I have great partners at Atlantic Records. Yeah. And. One thing Craig Kalman said to me when I first got there is, we're going to get it. Wow. We're going to get it. No matter how long it takes, we're going yeah. to get it. And wow. I've never heard that. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to get it. And yeah. no matter how long it takes, we're going to get it. Like, we're committed to working with you and building this relationship yeah. with you. And we're going to get it. Wow. And so you think I got signed there in 2010. Mm. No, it was 2010? I don't know. I think it was 2010. Sheesh. 2010. And 12 years? When, when we wow. didn't happen, 
until 2016. Wow. We did. We were doing we were doing cool numbers. Yeah. But we hadn't hit the one. So they really waited six years. Six mm-hmm. years. They stayed rocking with me. Stayed in bed with me for six years wow. until I got the one. But that's also a testament to the type of person you are. People do yeah. business with people who they like. There and, you know, that. we can, Tank is can very say likeable. all this, but that's who he is. I mean, you go to the office. You go tap in Look with people. Yeah. You check on people. Yeah. This is the part of the business, of business, yeah. that people have to understand is vital. Yeah, and he to maintains the success. his relationships. He maintains and manages them well. They yeah. love him up there. It's not a sour thing when you hear his name up like, at his oh, label. He's in the like, office. oh, it's, uh, <laughs> close the door. <laughs> yeah, it's him close the door. <laughs> him and his monster. <laughs> ask all the questions. Uh, uh, no, know? they they love him. They, they love, love him. me. They make me feel comfortable. Yeah, sure. It, but it's like, I just don't. I just I just don't believe in bad energy. Yeah, like. Even if, even if we're on the down, even if, you know, excuse me, if we're not hitting it off, you know, from a success standpoint, if the numbers aren't crazy, I'm not, I'm not blaming yeah. this person or that person. Like, we're in a partnership. Yeah. We're a team. So the the scoreboard doesn't say, you know, the marketing department loss or you know what I'm saying or the promotions department loss or you know it yeah. doesn't say that it doesn't it doesn't say tank loss when we get in this room we did not win right so how can we mm-hmm. fix this and make it better so that we win like and that I'm a team I'm 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 an mm-hmm. athlete I come from team mm-hmm. sports like and I, I believe in morale and I believe in everybody feeling good about coming <laughs> in to work. Like when you having them conversations, you know, with my name on the line, like you have to Whew. understand these people, you know what I'm saying? Like whether it be radio, um, whether it be PR, whether it be all these people who are working on your behalf, right? They can say your name with 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 glee, sure. with a smile, or they can say, Oh yeah, and we got this tank thing that we're doing. Let us know if you got space for it. Mm-hmm. Right. Or they can say we got this tank thing that, <laughs> that is makes absolutely yep. amazing. Oh, he's a great guy. Yep. You got. You have to pay attention. Like, mm-hmm. Or you can get that. So understand how you treat these people that are speaking on your behalf as it as it as it relates to your career, mm-hmm. your life. You don't want those people to feel good about you? Right. You wild. There's a lot of artists that don't understand that. They don't get it. I, I've gotten so many gigs and so many opportunities, not because I was the biggest artist mm-hmm. or the hottest artist at the time, because those people actually liked me. Yeah. Because they like, when Tank come in here, we're going to have a good, good time. time. <laughs> and gonna, you're so humble. We're going to laugh. Yeah. We're going to drink. We're going to crack jokes. Mm-hmm. And then he gonna get on the stage and go crazy, mm-hmm. and and we gonna have a good. He gonna take all the pictures. He sure like, bet, for sure yeah. bet. And we're gonna have a good time, and that's part of artist development. Yeah, yeah. But they don't teach. But you know at R and B money, it's taught. R and B money, we gonna teach that. R and B money, you gonna learn. <laughs> you R&B, gonna learn. You gonna learn today. <laughs> Definitely. You gonna learn today. Can I get my deal? Let's talk about this on air. Can I get my deal? Is Zena's deal? Uh, what? Is is there something? Okay, I'm just kidding. Back to you, babe. Back to you. Well, I would like to know about. I would like to know about. <laughs> Why Zena's you holding the mic like that? Because I would like to know about <laughs> Zena's deal. <laughs> Zena has been wanting to do a record deal for I don't know how long. I don't think Zena's gonna Zena, work it all the way through. Zena is great with hearing music. Zena can hear that. music. She she knows when it ain't right. Mm-hmm. She knows, like when it's vocally wrong, mm-hmm. musically wrong. Like she can peer. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she's able to do that, but still be tone deaf. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like, babe, go. 
You just set that up so nice. <laughs> no, no, so no, no, because you have so many other gifts. And this is, <laughs> let's do this on air. No, 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 no. It's okay. I, I, I wasn't prepared, and I've been drinking champagne. Don't say I wasn't prepared. No. no, 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 no. We have asked for this deal on air. We you will you see will it, anime. Prepared. Yeah, you will be prepared. That's he has a certain not, thing. He has not put me in artist development yes. yet. <laughs> okay, so. Economically. <laughs> just kidding. So, you know, it just, it's just going gonna, gonna to take a little tune. It's gonna take it's a little okay. too. It's gonna take a little auto tune. A lot, but it's okay. Yeah, but you know, ain't nothing wrong with a lot. I'm, I may have to break down and do one record. I can carry that to... stage with choreography, though. I want to hear Listen, one record. Let's just do. I just want to hear just, a that's one what I've been saying. record. Just give me one. Shoot a no, little video. I'll be sad because low key one probably will go. It's gonna go, and then it's gonna. And then come we're gonna back. have created yes, a monster. Yes, yes. Created a monster. <laughs> but that's all I want, and then I'm gonna quit and retire. I, no, she's no, not. You know, no, she's you're not. Not. no, you're not. No, you're not. You get a taste of that first stage. They're gonna start cheering. I told you I was like that. Yeah, you was hating all this time. I, oh, it's gonna get. It's gonna get it's real gonna ugly get in the house. Real. I gotta get. <laughs> yes, that's what it. <laughs> Yo, you babysitting your kids. You babysitting your kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right there with her. I'm like, babe, where, has a gig take. Babe, where are you going? To work. We have to get going. We have to get going. I'm going to work. You know what this is. You know right, what you this say is. Home. Shit, I would love that. You said you wanted to retire. <laughs> right. I said you was done. I'll be running the beauty business. <laughs> get your rollers. He'll be in there packing orders. <laughs> get your, Can you imagine? Get this your, is a partnership. Get your sign and go, guys. <laughs> helps, helps relieve fire and wrinkles from aging. Gina's products are very <laughs> they good, work. though. They, they work. work. <laughs> you must say two words. They work. We all they do good. work. Okay. Yes. Yes. They do work. And they are good. <laughs> <laughs> See the foster, honey. Um, let's talk about, you want to do a top five? I'd love to do a top five. Let's do a top five. Top five what? Top five. I'm not even going to say R&B. Let's just say top five. I don't know, you want to go artists or you want to go albums? Stuff. Mm. I'll, I'll start with artists. Top five artists. Top five artists. Jesus, top five artists. Okay. Top five is so I'm prepared. hard. I'm prepared. Is that generation? Yeah, yeah. it's hard. No, that's what I said. I, I don't want to no, no. stick it to just R&B. It's all, whatever. All, all, everything. Okay. That's tough. Top five. Yikes. Mm. Marvin Gaye. Okay. We got to start there. We got to start there. Um, the Reverend John P. Key. Love that. Gonna go there. Commissioned. Gotta go there. Jodeci. I know what your five is gonna be. <laughs> that you don't want it to be. <laughs> You just you don't even have to say it. We know what it is. R. Kelly. <laughs> Jesus Lord. <laughs> we you know you left Jesus the church. <laughs> He's a goner. <laughs> He's, a He's a goner. He's a goner. That is so good. That is so funny. So oh, good. Yeah. So good. I mean, that's, that's a great. Top that's a tough five, top though. five because. Because you didn't add it's any a, it's women a tough in there. top five because you know mm. there's Kim Burrell. Yeah, um, there's you love Beyonce. Be, there's Beyonce, of course. I adore Beyonce. Um, there's Celine Dion. Mm. Um, it's just and, so and there's Aretha Franklin. I just it's I just gave a I just gave a top five that came to my head. You know what I'm saying. What's your next favorite genre of music outside of R and B? Whatever Lenny Kravitz does. Ooh. Rock star. Whatever you call that, whatever, whatever that is. Right? Does he does it have a genre? It's a Lenny Kravitz. It's a Lenny yeah, Kravitz. It's it. rock. It's funk. It's funk. It's, it's yeah. It's it's, it's everything. worldly. Like mm -hmm. it's it's everything. Whatever it's he so does, it's so good. that's my next favorite genre of music. I want to reincarnate and come back with a guitar. You want the hair and all? Leather pants. I was going to say, add, add. Leather hair. pants, boots. He chose, he chose his tits. And, uh, and a, and a fish, fishnet tank top. Yeah, fishnet He's still sexy. I can take that. What say? a jean He's vest. still sexy. I can take that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with you I, <laughs> I can take you being Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Let me reword it. She didn't say, let me take Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, I'm just, I mean. Listen, so, listen, so, <laughs> she said. Uh, listen, listen you, here's what you have to do sometimes. 
Sometimes you just have to give a pass, <laughs> right? Because some battles you're going to lose, <laughs> right? Lenny Kravitz come walking up Lenny in the stage like, oh, babe, probably, let me get that pass. Yeah, let me get I'm, that pass. I'm probably going to need your woman for the <laughs> night. You know what? You you be careful with <laughs> Will that. Will you let me? Okay, okay, just at a certain you, time, you, just please You send her back in yeah, one piece. Yeah, you send her back in one piece. And, and if you want to send her back with a stipend, you can uh, also do you that. You can also stipend. do that if you want to. She also has a friend named Miss Diddy. Can... You can actually <laughs> take yeah, her too. And her too. Yeah. Recoup. Her ad is. Recoup. Economics. Economics. <laughs> um, oh, that's I good. just have a few questions. Favorite female R&B artist. Very tough. Actually, favorite female R&B album. Better. Wow. It's better. I mean. You gotta look at your phone. No, no, I want to be clear about. I want to be clear about, about the, the name, album. album the, name. Name. I, oh. I know, I know whose album is. It is. Sheesh. I just want to be clear about. Can we get that little doot 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 music? No, we don't. We don't. You're <laughs> I'm gonna just take that with you. <laughs> Brandy, never say never. Oh, period. I'm sorry. You like the never say never better than full moon? Yeah. Never say never. Say, yeah. Mine is. That's Angel in Disguise. That's, I yeah, mean, that yeah, is yeah. a great Come album, on. but my favorite female R and B album is Brandy Full Moon. Hold on, let me let me look at let me look at Full Moon. Let me see. Full Man, Moon, not the Full, Full Moon. Moon. Full Moon, the record is one of the greatest records I think ever oh made. God. Just that record from top to bottom. The the but all the, the tracks, the, the, the tracks on the, the track is the vocal. But never say never. The transitions. Right never say never is is just place. I mean. I don't Have think, you ever? Have you ever, Miss Norwood? Put that on everything. Put that on. Put that on that. Oh, I love that song. Yes, I do you love do. Song. I think about it. Oh, I forgot about it. Because Never Say is that. Angel and Scott, that's that's top to bottom. And I love you, babe. Oh, and I love you, babe. Ooh, that's oh, what that. Oh, my not, God. Mm, mm. Let's look at Full Moon. Yeah. Full Moon, too. Got that heat. Full Moon probably has. Rodney killed that album. Full Moon probably has my favorite Brandy song. Mm-hmm. On. Which one? When You Touch Me. Oh, oh I love that song. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, I love that song. When Listen, let me tell Come you on, something. Miss I don't know what it was, but when that album came out, I used to love to just drive. Oh, no. And I, play yeah. that, that album. album and this, be in my feelings. I don't care yeah, if I was Z. in a good place or a bad place. That's Those two in albums, my feelings. Never Say Never and Full Moon, I will put up against... Any. Yeah, me too. Any me too. female's R&B album. Me too. Anyone. Me too. Anybody. Yeah. Me too. Like... And I'll toot, I'll toot to nail that thing. Oh, my goodness. Every record, every when, song, when every... When You Touch Me, Mm-mm. when I heard that song, that record. I was so... Rodney, when I heard that song, I was so... I was... It It. It. it took me a while to audit the song because some songs mm-hmm. just... Some songs just mess me up. Mm-hmm. That's one of the songs that messed mm-hmm. me up. It took me... The other, the song recently that messed me up, that, that, that I... I'm still auditing, still trying to get out of my feelings about is her damage. Oh, mm. that song. Yes. I love that song. Yeah. Oh my god. I think god. everybody, everybody it was feels a, a way about that. Oh, shout out to oh Cardiac. My oh my gosh. god. No. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's just the song, the the original song already itself damaged me. So good. Already messed me up. And then they did that? Mm-mm. When you touch me in that same in that space. Yeah. In the, in the, oh no, God. I'm totally with oh that. God. Yeah. I'm, oh. I'm glad you said I'm that. I'm with that answer, too. Totally Brandy. totally aligned. Right. Brandy. Got to get her on the pod. She has to come. <laughs> She's going to come. She'll come. Do you know how important she... Like, I'm born and raised in L.A. Like, do you know how important yeah. she... Like, we have... Like, Brandy... I, for, s- I saw Brandy sing. I introduced Brandy at... Um, at um, what was the, the R&B night that uh, these Philippe, Philippe, Philippe Newman used to do? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, um, um, R&B Live. R&B, R&B Live. Live. Yeah. Brandy. Tank was the reason we would be up in there. I hosted. I, I was hosting it. Yes, you were. And, and I introduced Brandy. And I watched my friends, guys, while she was singing. I watched them hug each other. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, oh. Like, huddled up together. Men. Huddled. Just done. Watching, I'm standing like this. Mm-mm. She was just, she was just Brandy. Brandy. Oh, she's so good. Voice like that, changed the world. 
runs like that. I mean, she's oh, her never, runs is oh, crazy. Her voice is just the voice is just yes. she's just different gift, different kind of gift, different kind of gift. Yeah. What else? What <laughs> else you got? I was just laughing at Jay at the thought of Ray a hot mess. Why are you at Ray? Sorry. No, I'm laughing at Brandy in the comments saying, Ray J, I told you to rehearse. I told you to <laughs> oh, practice. I remember that. <laughs> There's one time I did get mad at Brandy in real life. Damn. Remember my birthday party Damn. in LA? This is going real. <laughs> no, it be real. It, was, it wasn't bad. Oh. It was my birthday party in LA, and one of my really good friends was pregnant, and she was at my birthday party. And Brandy approached her for being pregnant in the club. Damn. And I That's was like, Brandy. whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's here to celebrate me. We're just having a Why good time. Why are you here with this child? <laughs> now, I thought I said, oh, she crazy. She crazy. She's from the, she's from the mother's board. She came to sit her down. <laughs> yeah. She's like, wait, you, you shouldn't be out here. You, you shouldn't should be, be out, out here. here. The Lord yes. is against yeah. all of this. Take this child home. I was like, it was so funny. Because she was my favorite female R&B artist. She and then I got is. mad. I she said, why should she check she's, my friend? She still <laughs> is. No, I love her. But I'm just saying, I just remember that moment that was so funny to me. Is Mariah Carey R&B to you? Hmm? Me too. I mean... Me too. Mariah Carey eventually moved into a more soulful space. Because there are different, you know, there's so many different nuances to R&B. Sure. And so when you, when you say pop, you're just saying music that's more popular. But when you're singing about love and singing from the depths of your soul, you know, it's R&B music to me. Absolutely. Just in a different space. You know what I'm saying? Pop was, the, or the word pop was created so that certain people could take ownership of it. But, you know, that's a different type of conversation. It's a real conversation. It's, yeah, di different real conversation. But yeah, Mariah Carey, I mean, Mariah, Car Mariah Carey is capable of all things. All things. Absolutely. Yeah. Mariah and the old dirty bastard. Okay. <laughs> Me and Mariah. Well, she's the only artist that did what she did oh because goodness. she didn't have to. Yeah. Did not. Put that need mini hip hop. She never needed she it. She didn't need she it. She did it. But she needed continuously. it. Continuously. Yeah, she needed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. As and a I, career, and it was felt. she didn't need it. No. But for her, for her, her soul. soul I yeah. need to get. She said, I need to get to that shit. I need <clears throat> that's them. What, that's all what, of them. That's what I really do that y'all don't know that I do. I can't imagine. I can who do said that. No, she's putting ODB. I want ODB on. They were like, no. <laughs> what? She Look was like, how she. huge that record is. Like, need them. Need them. Where? Jay where's Jermaine and B. Cox at? Where's Locks? The Locks. Need it. I need that shit. Yeah. She had to bring in her other side. And you have to yeah. think about this, like. It only works if we believe her. Sure. And we did. Oh, absolutely. Still do. Absolutely. Had no choice. Who care. inspired you as far as musically? Like, vocally? I know you came from the church, but what artist? Um, shoot. All the Anyone ones you studied? Name. Studied uh, Reverend, uh, Reverend John P. Key. Absolutely. Study Commissioned. I studied Babyface. Mm -hmm. I studied Brian McKnight. I mm. studied R. Kelly. I studied Jodeci. And this was all late in the game because I really wasn't able to listen to this stuff. Mm -hmm. I studied New Edition. I studied anything Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis did. You know, I had to go back and dig in the crates and 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 learn all of these things that had, that had already passed me by. Mm -hmm. Studied anything. You were on the late boat. <laughs> the late boat. You know what I'm saying? I didn't start doing R&B music until 96. Right. I graduated high school in 94. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, it was I'm, so much great R&B before then. <laughs> it was so much. And I had, so I had to go back and listen right. and, and 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 dig into those crates. But I like I was a student of music of so many dope artists because, you know, I wanted to have it all. And so I would sit in my room with my keyboard. My I had a PV DPM for my wow. mother brought it for me, my first synthesizer that I could do tracks on. And shout out to your mother buying. Shout out to moms for, for financing my joint, you know what I'm saying? Gert. And paying the bill. <laughs> she uh, went, I said that. <laughs> and uh <laughs> And I would sit in my room from sun up to sundown. I didn't even know it was nighttime. I would get up, I would eat breakfast, and then my mom would come in the room. She's like, What are you doing? I was like, I'm just, you know, just doing. She's like, Do you know what time it is? I was like, No. no. She's no. like, It's nine o'clock at night. Wow. She's like, Have you eaten? I was like, No, I, 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 I forgot. Use the bathroom. I was like 145 pounds. Wow. So I would not, I wouldn't even eat. I would be on, we studying. 
studying. Wow. Timbaland was my favorite producer. So I would, in my little nine track sequencer, I would try to reproduce all the songs that Timbaland did. I would try to reproduce Aaliyah. I would try to reproduce you know, uh, genuine, I'll try to reproduce all of these different things, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I gotta be like Timbaland, you know what I'm saying? And I studied the craft, studied. Like, Babyface was the first R&B artist whose songs I could sing if a girl asked me to sing something, because it was nice songs, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I kind of first got my little taste of singing R&B music, was singing Babyface baby songs, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? On the Whip Appeal, you know, that uh, Tender Lover album, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could sing tender songs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? T tender songs work for the church kid. Right. So, you know, I, I studied so much. I studied all of it. Like, I can tell you, I can tell you how, you know, all of those artists I name, I can tell you how they do their thing down to the science. It's full and circle I can, for you. And I can tell Isn't you Isn't it crazy pieces. that you have a relationship with a all those people full too? full circle. Right. Yes, that is, that is crazy. Beyond. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. I never thought of that. You never thought of that? <laughs> I never I never thought of that. Oh yeah. man. I never uh, yeah, I never I never thought of that. Yeah. That's the beauty in it. Yeah, I was, I was I was You no. were destined to do exactly what you've done in this world. Prophet Todd Hall. When I was um I used to open for him. You know, I used to come sing a couple of selections before he would preach. And he prophesied on me one day and mm. he was like this this won't be the place where it mm. happens for you. You are called to go out there. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Yeah. He said, you're called to go out there and be great. Prophet Todd Hall told me wow. that. And, and I don't think anybody in the church at that moment were got that or were too excited about that. No, like, definitely what? not going like, to say that. Yeah. Right. Like, what did that man do? But he's, a, you know, he's, he's one of the realest... He's one of the realest, you know, he's, he's a prophet, so I have to honor him as a prophet 100%. first. percent. But he's one of the realest niggas I've ever met. Yeah. So that's the second honor? It comes right after the prophet? Uh, yeah. Okay, I, 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 have to, I have to <laughs> give him. I have to give him. the same thing about my I have to honor him as a prophet yeah, first. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't disrespect that. We're going to go to number two, but though. We're going to go to number two. He's the realest, <laughs> realest, realest nigga I've ever met. And he told me, he said, you will, you will there. prosper out there. So, so many. He yeah. knew it. Yeah. I mean, he. Of course he knows it. It's a profit. All right. Is that it? Did we, did we do it? R&B money. I think I'm retiring. Money. You said what? Label. I think. think I'm retiring, but. I don't think. As much as I hope. Anita Baker said. She, <laughs> Anita Baker. You so Anita sad. Baker said, we can't lose you. Can't lose you. Anita Baker said, we can't lose you. If Anita comes sit on this couch, Can somebody you send me album. Anita's Instagram? Right, right. <laughs> Her. Anita comes to the couch. Got to do that. Hey, let Anita come sit on the couch. I am going to shout. I'm yeah. going to get oh, up. Me too. And I'll run. be shouting at the pool. Yeah, I'm just at the pool with it. Go get baptized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get baptized. Just lady <laughs> Duncan. What? Did y'all have right. a good time? Oh my god, I had a ball. Time. I should do this more often. Yeah. Oh god. Well, here we go. <laughs> if, if you, if Zena you all would like to I see, I'm a little shy single. today because yeah. it was my first time. But don't let, don't let me sit here. Again. If you all would like to see more of the woman aspect and yeah. point of view uh, on the R&B Money podcast, just let us know. You know, we're always into um, giving the people what they want. And but to be honest, let's just say, women is. I personally feel like who R and B is supposed to cater to. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, so I appreciate you for having. Us. So so women women run this world. We sure do. Period. Point do. blank. So I am honored to have my sister Miss Diddy on the R and B Money podcast, and honored to have my beautiful wife yes. Zena Babs on the R and B Money R and B Money podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> I'm Tank. <laughs> uh, this is the r Money Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. I might be retired. Hmm, maybe not. Might? Maybe not. We'll see. Let the church say. <laughs> this has been the r Money Podcast. <laughs> R&B Money.